What's going on, everybody? Uh, sorry about that little hiccup with the uh, music there. Just headphone connection issues, yada yada. Um, yes, Nolan, this is that game I was talking about earlier. It is called Last Stop. I don't actually know much about it, apart from it is very similar to games like Life is Strange and, you know, Heavy Rain and that it's a story game. Uh, it's got multiple characters, it's got quick time events, different paths you can choose, that kind of thing. Oh my. What's up, Bobo? And yeah, it just got released today, so this should be interesting. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. If it ends up sucking mid-game, I'm going to call it quits and tell it to fuck off. If it's great, I will continue to play it until I finish it, or maybe do multiple streams. We'll see. We all die because there's no more coffee. What's up, Boston? Speaking of coffee, um, I'm probably gonna get everything set up, get going. I got water boiling, I forgot about, um, so I had to take care of that and whatever. What I'm getting at is I need to take the kettle off in a few minutes to for my coffee, so. Yeah. And speaking of haze, hello, haze. Alright, let's lower that music just a little bit more. And, uh, let's get to it. Oh, I didn't do any capture yet, so this should be fun. <laughs> Figuring it out, because you know what happens. Everything goes swimmingly and smoothly on a dark stream. Oh, always. Hmm. It's actually working. I'm scared. Uh-oh. Fuck. I know, right? Better look at slug <laughs> That's really loud. And if it needs to be lowered more, I can always can lower it more, but we're gonna turn that to like a 35. It also said earlier when I booted it up for the first time, game is best played with a controller, so I'm gonna do that. Hello, Amy. Hello again. So anyway, unique kind of menu set up here. I don't... How long have I been live? I've been live 11 minutes. I'll tell you what, before I hit the start button, let me go check on the kettle one more time because I'm worried I'm gonna fuck that up. It's... whatever. I, I can't leave it alone for too long. It's one of those. <laughs> Be right back. A lot of interesting stuff. Show uh, yeah, I left my mic on. Didn't know that. <laughs> That's alright. Um. Strange young fellow from Leeds freshly swallowed a package of. What? <laughs> he said entertainer, so I was gonna tell him a dirty limerick. You're back, so it's all good. <laughs> oh God. Uh, okay then. Dancing? Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, coffee's ruined right now, so I'm gonna have to pick that up in a minute. Let's do this. Oh, and actually. Hang on one second, Hayes. No, don't cut me. I hate Discord sometimes. I really do. Come on. It's not recognizing the game as a game on Discord, which is always fun. Yeah. It's right there. Yep. yep. 
I hate that. Of course I want to give... Ugh. Do you want to give sound permissions? Yes! Okay. Uh, inverted look. Yes. Look sensitive. Sure. Wait, what? There we go. Mm. Boston. 1982. You're off your locker, Pete. You know that. Oi, get back here. You stole her hat. What do you think? Just run, you idiot. <laughs> Over there. Come on, down here. No, Pete. Oh, you're fucking. You're just dumb. Uh oh. Oh shit. There's a train! Peter! Just don't stop! <laughs> this guy's crazy! Fucking A! You alright? Wow! <laughs> what a stop! Get back here! There's no fucking way the cop would go after him, I don't care. And there's no fucking way that door would open, I don't care. Uh. Sure, fuck it. Try to keep up. That's not what I said at all. What do I got? Spam it? I I don't know. I, I don't know these quick times yet. Do I? Yo, okay, so I'm in control now. Cool. Wow, he runs like a pansy. <laughs> I don't know, he's got balls of steel, apparently. <laughs> mm. Or he's just bad shit. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Why do all these doors open, oh, like, way. so fucking easy? That guy's gotta be See weighing, you. like, 130 max. Yeah. Look how fucking <laughs> scrawny he is. Nice work. She didn't do anything! What? Huh? You're late. Do what? Uh... Uh... Hi? You were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave you clear instructions. Anyway, come on. We can probably still make it if you're quick. What is this, the Adjustment what are you Bureau? About? <laughs> Hang on, Pete. Hey, mate, can you get us out of here? What? Are you kidding? Didn't you hear me? We don't have time for this. This is going to be exactly like up, the Adjustment off. Bureau. But Bureau. don't expect a refund. This isn't a charity. Guess we're going with him then. What? Double what? Fuck no. <laughs> Why are you okay with that woman? She's really okay with this. Sam, what are you doing? That thing's radioactive. Get back. Chicken. Oh my god. What's up, Roughneck? It's now or never, son! Fuck Come no! Arrest me! Do you not see what's going Wait. on here? Take me away! Wait. The other one's through that door! Gotcha! No. I don't believe it. It is the fucking Adjustment Bureau. I knew it. By the way, great movie. Anyone see that movie? Great, great movie with Matt Damon. Uh, yeah, I have seen that. It's really good. So that was back in 82. What's up, Keys? Paper dolls, domestic affairs, strange <laughs> danger. Ah. Uh, I'll tell you what. You guys decide which one to pick while I go grab my coffee, alright?
broken. <clears throat> Let's see. What I miss, what I miss. Hey, what's up, Phil? What the fuck is this? Hey, Keith, and checkmate, Mr. Smith. <laughs> yeah, no one. Long time. Let's see, movie functions. No Man's Land? What? So you guys don't have a choice? Uh, Matt gave one choice, but you guys, anyone else got a choice of what you want to see first? Or maybe only tonight? I, I'm not sure yet. The trailer, a little bit of a trailer that I did see was only on Paper Dolls, I believe. Because I recognize the bald dude. What? <laughs> I never want to hear that sentence again from you. <laughs> Alright, so that's two for Stranger Danger, actually. That sounds... Three for Stranger Danger. Oh my god, okay. <sighs> Chapter 1, The Handsome Man. Is that the chick from before? Cause it's been tw eighteen years. Good vibes only. That's her room. Sorry to hear that. Okay, I guess that's not the chick from before. Cause she's obviously a kid. I couldn't read that. My monitor's too bright. Hanging out something. I couldn't read the rest. Hanging out around mine. You coming? Sure. Why not? Yeah, she's a kid. That's that's her school uniform. I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> Boss kid. It's hard to read chat. She went into the matrix. Okay, so I can control shit. Pretty, uh, pretty... Boring room. Nope. Go fish. Uh, I got any twos? Can I, can I interact? I so that's Donna. Can I go in the rooms? I can't fucking... How do you control this? This is so broken. I'm hitting right. It's going forward. I'm hitting left. It doesn't... Uh. Seriously, I, I can't go that way. Okay, so I guess I'm going this way. Slipping out without saying goodbye. Can I go out? <laughs> Have you done your homework? <laughs> oh shit, that might be my mouth or something. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Liar. Basically. Can I go out, Mum? Of course, Puddin. Say hello to Vivek <laughs> for me. Would it kill you to spend some time with your family for once? Jesus. What are you gonna do, Emma? Arrest me? <laughs> Take the uniform off. It's so daft. Uh, I think you look very handsome. Handsome? It's a chick. Handy, dear. <laughs> I hope you can put up with my sister better than I can, Ash. Oh, I guess I'm just stuck with her at this point. <laughs> off you go then. Don't ever Touch call a woman handsome. Home, don't don't do it. <laughs> oh. Oh wow, okay, so automatic rodden. Steal the car, steal the car! It's not like she's a cop or anything. Am I gonna get copyright right off the bat for this shit? Alright, let's run straight into the road. Straight into the road! Aww! I know the game doesn't want me to go that way, but I had to try. Seriously, what is it with the running in this? Who taught this? Okay, yeah, it is definitely RE controls. Like, with the camera change, I was holding forward, but if you let go, then you have to hold backwards. Oh, I'm not gonna like it. Such an edgy rebel. <laughs> St 
straight into the room. <laughs> Stranger danger, exactly. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs> I'm doing that on purpose. I'm not that bad at this. controlling it. Right into the road and standing still. With my headphones, so I know I'm not going to get hit. <laughs> or should I say, I don't know if I'm going to get hit. I guess I'm going this way. Looks like Dreamer... I don't know what you just said. The COD father? Fuck you, game. <laughs> And son. And son. Bet you five pounds I could hit that car over there with a rock or something. Go on then. Nah, what if the alarm goes off? Vivic? Vivic? No. How, how do you say his name? I just don't want to upset the neighbours. Vivic? You don't shit where you eat. Oh, lovely. You don't shit where you eat. Wait, I just... Uh, whatever game. Hey Donna. Hey, you got here quick. I thought you were working tonight. Who's manning the Codfather? <laughs> nah, Dad's had to close down for a few days. COVID. Right in the deep fat fryer again. <laughs> Not Boris that lived behind the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that exciting. Just a dodgy batch of scampi. Gave some people a runny bottom. <laughs> well, there goes that Michelin star. Never a dull moment in the Chowdhury household. Are you both finished? A couple, calm the fuck down. Really, kids? You're just, you just spying saw? on the neighbors? The one with the pretty lady. You really have no life at all. What no, guy? I wasn't paying attention. My window for a few nights. What the fuck? <laughs> Leave the poor guy alone. I keep seeing him bringing home different girls, boys too. What do you fucking do? Sounds like a player. Mm. That's not the weird part. He brings them home, but I've not seen one of them leave. Okay, what now you're saying? just now you're well, just being a creep. I've had my suspicions for a while, but I'm now pretty convinced. I think he's building a guerrilla army. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nah, he's probably just eating them or something. Mm. Weird sex <laughs> thing, I imagine. Oh yeah, That's some sex thing. I, I consider imagine. that. Probably a sex thing, yeah. We should play knockdown ginger on him. <laughs> what the fuck is knockdown ginger? <laughs> I was just about to ask you. Let's hack his Wi-Fi. I'm not no British. Way. We've got to be all forensic and stuff. Uh, yeah, Covert surveillance, like your sister. I just know it's like a little hairy. <laughs> I guess so, but they, neither of them were ginger. Uh. uh. I think Emma mostly deals with unpaid parking fines. Getting bored. Wanna do some gas? Oh, what? Sweet. I'm up for that. Ah, okay. Knock down Ginger. Hold up. The prank of Hold up. On someone's door and running away. Hold up. Yeah. Did I just hear that right? Anyway, go ahead and say it. It's a you prank. You know where you knock on someone's door and then run away? Ding That's dong ditch. Is. Yeah. Same as ding dong ditch, but yeah, you knock on their door and you. But racist. That's, That's cool. <laughs> but racist. <laughs> okay, Becky, what would you rather do? Be put in prison for ten years, but when you come out, you get twenty million pounds tax free, or get the twenty mil up front, but you die when you're thirty five. Fuck that. What are you on about? Come on. Okay, what is take? this? I also, either they both sound shit. No, you have to. Oh, it's a. Probably take the 20 million up front, live it up on a yacht. She said, want to do some but gas. You die. What, I, when I hear that, I'm thinking they're breaking out some whippets and getting high. Not throwing bottles. What the fuck, game? 
<sighs> when you're 35. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, a it, really dude. horrible, slow death. Okay, fine. I'll go to prison then. But it's solitary confinement for the entire time. That's okay. Nice. And you don't have a bed to sleep on. Just a stone floor with loads of spiders about. You're just adding stuff to make it worse. What is this music? Is this what kids do nowadays? Ooh, wine. But, but that's not one to... But Irish hating is funnier. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> nice, I broke it. Yeah, fuck security in your own living complex. <laughs> Can I throw one at them? Like, this is... You guys are boring as hell. Oh shit, did I make that one? Yeah, I did. Ooh. Jordan! Shit! What?! Oh, apparently I did get it. Hmm. Check it out. Freaky dude's back and he's all alone. Not this again. Ever hear of a back door? We should stalk him. What? No way. That's not what I meant. I don't want to be turned into a human kebab. He is pretty fit. <laughs> what? Uh. Like the sound of human kebab, Becky. Let's follow him. I want his number. When he makes high. You're probably like sixteen, honey. Parts, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> thirsty. Look lively, Codfather. The catch of the day is getting away. These f the fucking script on this game alone. You know, he's probably meeting with his superiors in the guerrilla army. <sighs> oh right, so Cannibal Killer is out. Guerrilla army is back in. Yeah, I'm coming round to it again. Poor fella, he's probably just run out of condoms. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Could have saved himself a walk. You can get condoms in the loo at the plowman's arms. <laughs> Looks pretty hench. I meant to hit Y, damn it. Human protein is eating. <laughs> I can't deny, he's one handsome man. Gay! Almost as pretty as you, hun. Ah, oh, make a boy blush. <sighs> this feels like another one of Viv's wild goose chases. Uh, wake up, sheeple. There are crazy things going on in this city. All those three months when he went full flat earther. Mm. On that occasion, I was just a victim of fake news. <laughs> Fucking kids. <laughs> Fucking kids. He became a flat earther. That's funny. I know, let's run right up to him. Sneaky style! Hang on, I gotta get into the light first. And I gotta... I gotta weave like I'm drunk. Wow, he's fast. I mean, we're jogging and he's just... Not. So... Seriously, kids, can't you go creep somewhere else? Oh, down here. It's kind of hard to. to this part of town before. Me neither. Handsome guys heading for that old building. Hang on, I gotta wait in the middle of the street again. Wait, I gotta get all three of them in the street. <laughs> oh no, boss! <laughs> nah, I'd be okay with it. <laughs> Seriously, come on, hair. Fucking headphones.
Guerrilla army's still not off the table. Building looks big enough to be a fortress. Or a library. Fallen down. <laughs> Maybe he's setting up a rave. Okay, but what about all those people he's been disappearing? They're probably all inside having fun. <laughs> sure, sure, let's go then. What do you think, Becky? Shall we take a look? I'm game. You two are mental. What are you going to do? Just walk through the front door. Yep. Just follow me. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Fuck, I'll even knock. Oh, they're crouching. Therefore, they're silent now. Wait, I gotta... Oh. Spam A. Ooh, two button system. One, my controller's got two A buttons. Ha. Let's try that back door over there. Okay. God, these running animations are just so painful. So painful. Crap, it's locked. Oh, that's uh, that's that then. One of those top floor windows are open. Guess we can climb those boxes. See, so we got Donna, uh, I can't remember the dude's name, something with a V, and what's the chick's name? Something with an A. I think Ash or something. Yeah, it might be Ash. Um, his eyes are glowing. Willing to concede at this point, he might not be the head of a guerrilla army. <laughs> the reason my controller has two A buttons, and has two uh, A, B, X, and Y buttons is because it's designed that way. So I can hit B without taking off, or I can hit those buttons without taking off my finger from the joystick. It's a really, really, really expensive controller. That's why I'm at. What the hell is going on here? Guy's like an X-Man or something. <clears throat> Holy shit, we're gonna be rich. What? You are. Get a video of this. We'll send you it what? to the tabloids. Imagine the likes. The l <laughs> Oh, I can't shoot it from here. Let me find the right position. We got ten people watching, so that's chill. <laughs> Delete all this shit. Don't care about you and your friends or whatever. Okay, it was supposed to do that. I think. This is mental! <laughs> Run, you bellend! Wait! You guys! Don't hit the barbed wire, dumbass. I even purposely moved out of the way. Guys, I'm stuck! Guys! Help! Naked man! Almost naked. Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What the hell have you done? What do you mean? He was gonna attack Donna. Um. Uh, he was helping Donna, but you know. Yeah. Have you killed him? <laughs> A little appreciation here. I just saved your life. Um. Dude, bollock naked. He's yeah. not dead, is he? He's, He's got like... superpowers. He probably can't be killed. <laughs> Vivek, uh, phone 999. Whoa, 
Oh yeah, that's, that's like not. Let's not make any rash decisions. I'm that not getting in trouble for this. This was your dumb idea. Donna, what does your <laughs> sister find Bastion. out about this? <laughs> well, what do we do then? We need to move him. Let's get him inside, <laughs> out of sight. What? No, you're gonna. F oh yeah, tie him up. How you? What did you have to tie him up? That should hold him for now. Thank God he's still breathing. These fucking kids. Okay, so what next? We can't leave. Our fingerprints will be all over this place. <laughs> <laughs> the buildings have collapsed, you said. Pretty sure the police don't have our fingerprints. Come on, Donna. I mean, well. They'll be on the secret government database. Besides, <laughs> I've got a real good I look. Fucking I fucking hate this we'll guy. To identify you to the police. We can't let him go. For the time being, he has to stay here. I, I don't want to. Can I not answer? Ah, fuck it, I'll answer. Emma? Where hm? the hell are you? Tell me this instant. No. What's wrong? I'm still out with Vivek and Becky. Well, I'm at Vivek's right now, and you're nowhere to be seen. Yeah. Did I say at Vivek's? I meant near Vivek's. I'll be there soon. Donna. Donna, don't you dare hang up on me. Beep. Well? <laughs> <laughs> Emma is looking for us. Your sister. She's outside Vivek's place right now. Emma's at the Codfather. You need to fix this, Donna. She can't come here. We'll go to prison. Oh, shit. I don't know about, uh... Well, Becky, if she does come here, you've always got the option of knocking her out, too. <laughs> Shh! <laughs> Why are you shing us, Viv? Because I heard something. I you to stop saying our names. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no. He's awake. Well, we're fucked. Hi. <laughs> Just, hi. What? No. Okay, so you gotta do each chapter. Okay. And uh, like I said, Keith, I don't know what it's like in England, so you gotta remember that. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this one. Fuck it. The next station is Cobbett Square. I thought it was gonna be like all the chapters of the one person, then the next, and yada yada. I guess not. Seriously, hair, come on. Do you value all human life? Nope. No. Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Yep. Sure. Everyone lies. I really and don't. And to take the life of a loved one? Depends. There would have to be a bloody good reason. Are you capable of suicide? Fuck no! Been known to. But only after a few drinks. <laughs> Please be cooperative, Miss Hughes. What is your greatest fear? <laughs> this interview will never end. <laughs> Are you afraid of answering questions? Come on, ask a real one. <laughs> if you were to be sent on a long trip, how long could you be away from your normal life? Define normal. <laughs> we mean your life outside of work, your attachments, your family. It's not a problem. Even years? What if the trip was indefinite? Is it? Thank you, Miss Hughes. We appreciate your time. That'll be all for now. Jesus. No, double Jesus. The people on the sitting down don't have faces. You got a spare hour or two? I may have. I'm coming over. Jesus. This is interesting to say the least, guys.
Mina! M Mina Hughes! Boo! What's happening? Hey, my get him, sheepy he Okay. Cheap! Doesn't seem fake. Overwhelmingly keen to make a good impression. Total rookie. Doubt she's seen combat. <laughs> Amy. Not a name I plan to remember. <laughs> Surprise at her clearance level. I like this. Slight tremble, nervous excitement. Either way, she's unguarded. No wedding ring. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mina. Do you mind if I get past? I I'm Amy. Amy Ung. I'm pretty new here. I can understand why you wouldn't remember me. I am going to need to get past at some point. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're a big deal around here. I, I thought maybe you could give me some tips. I read your Operation Bloodhound report at Sandhurst. You know they use you as a case study there, as an example of how to keep a clear head under extreme pressure. Okay. I feel like it's I want to go in that door. Oh, I, I think can't. It helps a lot, you know. Oh, what am I saying? You don't need me to tell you that. Sorry, are we going the same way? Anyway, I've uh, <laughs> been with the company about 18 months now, just transferred over from the Gibraltar office. H have you been stationed there before? Sorry, that's a stupid question. Uh, there's good work being done over there at the moment, but obviously it's nothing compared to HQ. You fucking go away is what she's I'm trying to say. To get the opportunity to work down here. Hey, maybe we'll end up working together at some point. It would be great to shadow you, to learn from the best. Seriously, everyone right. else's face is I've just so blank. About you. It's an honor to meet the legend in person. Go away. Are you taking the lift too? Oh. No. It's been lovely to meet you. Bye. <laughs> God damn it, Bastion. <laughs> uh, it'd be pretty much just so. <laughs> Maybe at work. Use. Uh -huh. So you've met Amy? Yeah. They keep getting younger. Promising recruit. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know how to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting fast tracked. What? Blasted thing. Fast tracked where? The most intelligent people in the world working here, and we can't even get a lift to operate with life. Bitch, answer my question. I mean, boss. Sir? Advanced dynamics, your section. Fuck. So I'm her boss. No. Mm -hmm. About bloody time. It was like three Should seconds. Be to me your boss. Time being, I want to oversee her progress directly. Why the special treatment? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. So as you. I hear she performed very well. Let's see who comes out on top. Oh. Oh, competition. We take out that young and Use. Somebody's Sorry. getting shanked. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm supposed to be walking now, aren't I? Yep. Nope, not going that way. Wait, what the? That way? I don't know where to go, Gabe. I guess this way. Or not. Seriously, you can't do this to me, Gabe. At least she doesn't run awkwardly. Eh. Where am I supposed to go? The front desk, maybe? Out the front door, is it? But I was just. 
I'm confused. Did you just come down the elevator? Yeah, but I was walking towards that desk. So this looks like the way I was coming from. That's why I got confused. Yeah. Doing that. Change your own. Yeah. They're like trying to pull a Resident Evil camera style, but it's... You, give me your umbrella now. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my car. That's my company car. at 7.30. Your suggestions of eating at 8 is simply not possible. I hope you can both agree that, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm not reading this out loud, guys. Alright, so I lied to him saying I'm not going to dinner. Fuck you, dad. Is it a taxi or a company car? Because that thing was waiting for me. I think it was a taxi. Either way, it was ugly. Wait, who's this? So. Come for a checkup, have you? You know what I'm here for. Oof. Can't get enough of my sensitive bedside manner. Piss off. If all you've got is talk. I'll find someone else. Hey, just having a bit of fun. Save it for the bedroom. Fun starts upstairs. Oh my. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Am I going to have to close the stream? <laughs> Jesus, did you kill him? <laughs> I know you guys can't see his... But look at that. He's like passed out. <laughs> oh Jesus! Someone's leaving. Said it. Well, he said it. Mm. it. <laughs> you kidding me? I'm just three houses down. Yep, booze. Making a beeline right to the booze, dog. He's a female dog. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Whiskey, <laughs> wine, or tap water? Tap water? Luxury tap water. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even have to think about that. More. Oh, shit. Are you right, babe? Oh. Yeah, I just had a long day. Wow. My babe's saving the world again, is she? You make me sound like a superhero. Well, you could be, for all I know. Is there anything I can help? Can't talk about it, I'm afraid. Back rub? <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to that. Dylan in bed? Mm -mm. Oh, oh well, she has a kid too. Make sure he's reading and not watching I TV. I she's playing it on leaving, like, for an infinite amount of time. What yeah. the hell? Yeah. <laughs> It'll do. What a cunt. <laughs> it's definitely dark. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dylan. Hi. Is everything all right? <laughs> yeah, just eating. Jesus. How's Granddad? What? This is a cold oh, yeah, bitch. He's fine. I told him about your 200 meter swimming badge. He was very proud. 500 meters, Mum. 
I got my 200 meter bad ages ago. Why do you always forget this stuff? Right, 500. You can't expect someone my age to have a memory as good as you. Dad said you'll come and watch me do my 750 meters. Please say you'll come this time. No! Mr. 400 and the 300. Everyone else's mum's come. I'm sorry, darling. You know that it's hard for me to always get away from work. But I'll make a special effort next time. I'll put it in my diary <laughs> and Jeez. underline it in red pen. Okay, now it's getting late. Time for bed. Oh, come on. Can't I stay up until nine? Dad always lets me stay up a little longer if I'm reading. Fuck it, whatever. I don't care. Okay. But I better see this light off when I come back up here at nine. Okay? Or I'm going to beat your ass. What? Okay. Quick thought. What woman actually just sleeps with a bra on? Just throwing that out there. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to start it. I wanted to fill up my coffee, but let's go. So, I really hope that you have to play the chapters and then it'll do chapter two because I, I don't know anything about this game. So, do I only have chapter ones right now or, or what's going on? Alright guys, one second, let me fill up my coffee, alright? Fuck you, uh, Nolan, by the way. <laughs> I see that comment. And uh, one second, I just want to Google something real quick. Uh, until some bitch nun comes and breaks up his... Oh my god, you guys suck. You guys suck. Do we suck or do we just know you too well? I wouldn't do anything like... Alright. <sighs> Hang on one second. Okay, it still doesn't have any reviews. I just want to make sure that I didn't like download the demo or something. No, no. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Clearly, Matt, you've never seen The Sound of Music. Okay, definitely have a daughter. I've seen two dollhouses and three stuffed animals, and I'm not even looking around. <laughs> hey, Dad! Overslept. Sorry, won't be a minute. Ready when you are. She sounds like she's eight. She looks like she's so fifteen. You don't need to worry about that. 
And I know you said I couldn't have crisp sandwiches, but I put ketchup on it, so it's one of my five for today. Oh, and before I forget, <laughs> you know what? who asked you to sign my homework? Did you put ketchup on it? Well, so that's a you don't need to worry about that anymore. I managed to forge your signature. Oh my god, uh, hang on, I love this kid. I didn't hear a word she said until she said, I managed to forge your signature. That's my girl. <laughs> By the way, a friendly reminder, there's nothing in the freezer. Can you go to the shop? Maybe get some of that new mouthwash while you're there. You know, <laughs> the one with the picture of the dragon on the bottle. It's the best one because it shows all the bits of bad breath in the sink when you spit it out. I remember that shit as a kid. Dad, can I get an electric toothbrush for my birthday? My friend Dylan has one. He said it's really fun, like going on the car wash, but in your mouth. I like this kid. It's a lust for revenge. What's up, Jammer? I like this kid. Wants practical gifts for her birthday, can forge signatures, oral hygiene. His dad's doing a good job, but by the looks of him, he's overweight, sleeping in late, <laughs> forgetting things. Two different brushes. Well, the kid's that good, what do you need to do? Your one has hairs all over. Hairs? And it looks as flat as a pancake. Dad, how come I have hair and you don't? You have some, but it's in the shape of a horseshoe. How <laughs> can I have Well, I have horseshoe hair when I'm old. <laughs> Well, I have horseshoe hair. This is room. exactly what it's like living with Zane. <laughs> Constantly, and it does not stop, ever. <laughs> yeah, but I don't picture Zane being the wanting a new toothbrush for his There's birthday. There's a lot more swear words and violent actions. Yeah, in his but like I said, I don't picture Zane wanting a new toothbrush for his birthday. <laughs> Am I wrong there? Ugh. <sighs> What's up, Jammer? Let me see. Damn, kid. Ken Rose. <laughs> a legend. Yeah. Hey, hey Jammer. Jeez. Oh, come on. Really? He's got the brushy. Ah! Why would you do that? Fuck you, Gabe. She just told you. <laughs> no toothpaste. No nothing. Just dry. No eight year old's gonna tell me. <laughs> I want some more coffee. Guess he likes hairy teeth. Hmm. Is your room clean? Oh, wait, is that? Wait, what is that? Oh, that's all. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a bottle. I'm like, ooh. Uh. Oh. Well, you know I'm going for the darkest suit they got. Wait, was that one darker? Is that one darker? Eh, this one's darker. What a good- it's not a suit! What?! Who hangs up a sweater? Can I go back? <laughs> Who hangs a sweater in their closet? This guy. No wonder this guy's all fucked up. <laughs> Kids already dressed, ready, and waiting. I like the kid. Okay. Set. It's awesome. Phone, Dad. Damn it. Give it a bust for me, Calling. Seriously, this kid knows... Is, the kid knows what's up. Yeah. All set? Like raspberry jelly. What? Let me check the pace. The last one downstairs is a rotten turnip. I don't want to be a turnip. Rotten or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> and he's running like a pansy. I love how his stamina... Jesus, man! That was less than 20 feet! <laughs> and then I just heard Jesus, man, from your headset. That was great. Hey, what fucking game is this? What's up, Chuck? <laughs> How's it going, bro? <laughs> this game just came out today. Um...
I don't know. It's exactly what you think it is. <laughs> it's your stamina too, is it, Aki? Uh, but how's it going, bro? Hope you've been well. With your paints and your shoes, you look like Aladdin. I got chocolate bubblegum! Hi, Baz. Hey, name I can't remember how to pronounce. How you been? I saw you were uh, streaming earlier. I, I really, I, I cannot remember how to pronounce your name. Someone help me out there on Twitch. Akiniax? Yeah. I, I, I always, I, I'm always a dick because she knows that I, I can never. Anyway. All right, so the X is silent. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. Drop the X. Got it. This game endorsed assault, kidnap, horror cunt. Jesus, Keith. I mean, the last chick I was just playing as, she straight up is a complete cyborg at work. After work, goes out around the town being a total slut. Turns out, she's also a loving mother. <laughs> and what? <laughs> this guy's just a diss. Wait, where's my daughter? She's beating you down there. You're the rotten turnip. You oh, just yeah. bills and some post for that man, Jack. Jack. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? He used to live here? I don't know. Well, it's the same surname and initial. Come on, let's drop it off for him. Okay. Same surname so, and initial. So, chicken dip is for dinner. <laughs> I'll explain it. Uh, what am I? So chicken dumpers are there? Caesar salad? I don't know. Let's do fish. Know. Probably should try chicken a bit more healthy. How about white fish on a bed of lentils? Wow. Ooh, that actually Get sounds... you, Jamie Oliver. Oh, that actually sounds really good. <laughs> Fuck you! Everyone here knows I know how to cook. <laughs> I love this kid. Right? So <laughs> you just don't want Zane. <laughs> no, Zane's all right. I'm fucking He's with you. You know I love fucking with you about it. Oh, hey. Oh shit. I uh, got your post again. Sorry, I. I this is from oh, the nice trailer I watched. Yeah, Jack, your clothes look mental. What the? <laughs> what? No, they're not. Mm, they are a bit. <laughs> They're so tight, does it your will get pinched? Oh my god! <laughs> Funny kid. Anyway, I have to go. Uh, nice seeing you both. Uh, do you have any posts for us? Kids yeah, hand it over. Stealing posts is a crime. Ah, uh, yeah, I do. There you go. Sorry, it's a bit of a pile. <laughs> John Smith. Okay, my name's John Smith. And... and so it's John and Jack Smith. Oh my god. Uh, no return address on that one. Gas bills do. I uh, didn't see if the stove was even gas, so there's whatever. Chalk lane. That's that's creative. What's this one? Social care office. Uh oh. Oh no. Quick, chuck down the bin. Right? Didn't get it. Cardiology? Uh-oh. Oh. oh. He might be oh. sick. Maybe Thanks. that's why he's sick. I didn't, uh... You messed up, I didn't yeah. read the rest. Anyway. I wasn't able to until... I've already got a run. Don't give yourself a wedgie. Hey, Panda. <laughs> hey, Panda. <laughs> the boy's away with the fairies. I like him. <laughs> Don't give yourself a wedgie. <laughs> Promise me you won't turn out like that. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. Your daughter's a super genius. <laughs> Where you get it from, I don't know. That's for damn sure with this guy. Why don't you and Jack be friends? You don't have any friends. Okay, that's relatable. The older you get, the less friends you have. That's for damn sure. Oh, I guess we're on anyway, this I do have friends. <laughs> what about Shazia? Yeah, but she's a work friend. You need cooler friends. Friends who jog <laughs> and have stupid hair. Yeah, your definition of cool is slightly different to my mum. You were joking about fish on a bed of mentals, right? Lent. 
mentals. You can't eat that junk forever. You'll get fat like me. Mm. And then I'll get into trouble. What about chips? <laughs> I'm not getting into trouble. Is a vegetable. I, I, it's a... I think some of these letters are from social services again. Don't worry. If they send mm -hmm. one of those people around again, I'll shoot them with a machine gun, then push them down the rubbish chute. No, it's exactly fine. <laughs> I fucking love this kid. <laughs> I love her. She's right, so see you later then, nuisance. Don't forget dinner. Yeah, I made a mental note. Bye, Dad. Too fucking cute. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too fucking cute. <laughs> but yeah, I, I want to know about that cardiology one letter. That, that's got me a little worried. Three potato chips later, hey, he's adopting Molly. Uh, yes and no. Uh, there's three different players you play as, so this is me just starting his chapter, but this is the third player I've been playing as. <laughs> I'll shoot you in the bloody face. Smiles and skips away. Hayden is Epic Gaming YouTube. What's up, Hayden? How's it going, man? Okay, we are not going that way. I really want to see Zdark cut his hair so that there's a bald spot changes legal name. Why would I do that? Fuck no, I like my hair. Coffee, sandwiches, uh, underground, so that's the subway in Brit speak. The tube. Oh, I'm on YouTube as well. Yeah, I'm on Twitch and YouTube. I guess I have a card. Yep. Dirt, dirt. It is definitely interesting. I fucking love this kid. I didn't like the first one so much, but I really liked... Oh, shit. Hey, what's up? I really like the second character, the, the stern chick. I think they got, like, some sort of relationship thing going on, or had a relationship thing Morning. going on. Fancy mm. seeing you here. Going to have one? Yep. Yeah. be a dick. You work in Central. Sorry, mate, what with that? <laughs> Just making small talk. Sorry, I'm being rude. Yeah, you no. are. <laughs> See you around. Yeah, I got 15 people, actually. Whoa, it's actually a lot higher than that. I got 18 people watching. Oh no, that's the guy! The idiots! Phone. This is That's expensive thing. stuff. That's the you guy from the right. beginning. He's like, screen smashed. Oh, piss off. Do you know how expensive these are? Okay, they probably are expensive, but piss off. Look, let me, uh, let me help you out. Get away from my stuff, thief. Jesus. Whoa, chill out. Give me your arm. Accuse him of being a thief. You they, you yep. For each other. Yep. This is. I know what's happening here. Uh oh. Yeah. What did. Mm -hmm. Sorry, did, did you just say something? Oh, yeah. Sorry, mate. I had a feeling. Oh, gotta go. Right. What a rude bitch, I know, right? <laughs> Hold up. Anyone else do what I do, and my entire family for that matter, is walk up escalators. <laughs> not just stand there like a prick. Yeah, everybody here walks up them. Yeah, because you just... Really 
really yeah, old. if you're old, you get a pass. <laughs> if you're fat, you should be walking up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to New York. This is London. <laughs> England, New York. <laughs> what time do you call this? Ah, uh, you know. Sorry, I um got held up. You slept in. Never mind now. I need your advice on something. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. I love how you can actually do oh, sometimes the things I'm thinking. You know, the one with the funny ears. Sorry. There's just too many to keep track of. I don't give a shit. Anyway, he invited me back to his last night. Finally. Wait. I thought you were seeing Tony. Cooper? <laughs> Tony with the terrapins? Turned out he was married. <clears throat> so are you going to that drinks thing on Thursday? Hang on. What happened with Darren? <clears throat> you on Darren? <laughs> Please say you'll come out. You're the only one I can talk to. Oh my god, he's friend zoned. Oh, <laughs> Gotta look after Molly. Poor guy. Yeah, oh, you I think always he always the other that way, though. It's, like, it's all good. <laughs> I don't know. I would say she that. All around the place, uh, yeah, I would say that about Jack. Did you see his clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Your council, yeah. really? Jack, just a mammal. A. M what? A mammal. M a m i l. <laughs> what does that mean? Morning. Middle aged or man I say in afternoon. It's only just gone nine. Nine o two by my watch. Sink oh, to Big Ben. That's that's very clever. <laughs> Careful, sunshine. Don't forget who's in charge around here. You're our supervisor, not our prison warden. <laughs> now all I can think about is Shaz in handcuffs. Do you even do any work round here? <laughs> you need the pressure I'm under to hit the new targets. The fact I'm keeping it together is a miracle. We all have targets. Oh, he's popped up, hasn't he? You better wind your neck in. Don't forget you're on report for all those days off. Yeah, because he was in hospital. Jackass. Jackass. That's yeah. tragic. Oh, yeah. Come on. So he's fucking sick. He can't pay his bills because he's sick. And no one cares. <laughs> Great. So more often than not, I end up going pretty slow on escalator. Hang on, what did I miss? I'm sorry, I haven't been keeping up with chat. I just, I'm loving this. I walk up the escalators, but sometimes I try to be respectful to others. Face on the escalator because I walk super fast. Yeah, that, um... Honestly, the last time I was on an escalator was when I went to D.C. to see uh, Ambig. And uh, there was a bunch of crowd of people in, uh, literally on the up escalator and no one going down the down escalator. So me and my brother walked up the down escalator and we still made it up faster than the people. <laughs> uh, I would beat the shit. <laughs> wow. So I feel at work. Oof. If you said 902, <laughs> shit on me. <laughs> do you I want to ask my coworkers? Do you even work? <laughs> I'm, I'm really curious, curious about that. Yeah, the real. <laughs> uh. Oh no! No wonder he's behind on his work. He's an old. Uh, my dad <laughs> used to do that. <laughs> a peck, a pecker. Oh no. Uh, what's my job anyway? What does that say? I couldn't read it. Mr. E -box. I can't. I can't read it. It's too bright on my screen. Mr. J Tacky. Oh no! What? What is it? Is it getting rejected or what? Oh, that thing. I don't know. I can't read that. Oh, what stamp you put it on? There. Yeah. Exciting life. Mm -hmm. This poor guy, he's got nothing good going for him at all. Except his he's daughter got is amazing. The best daughter in the world. <laughs> hey, that daughter is super happy too, so good on her, right? Yeah. My dad does that. Yeah, my dad used to do that all the time. And I remember I used to help him when he had to do paperwork and stuff, and he'd be like, Boof! Because <laughs> I'm a really fast typer, I just can't spell worth a shit. 
Well, Keith, you're older than a lot of us here, so that's understandable. You didn't really grow up with computers in your life, you know, as much as we did. Oh, come on. Paper jam. Why is it saying there's a paper jam when there is no paper jam? <laughs> Office space, anyone? Print, you bastard! <laughs> Can I speak to a human, please? This is what my dad would do. Did you say you would like to refer a friend? My dad was so bad at those the things. Supervisor. Supervisor. Oh, he would say represent representative is what my dad used to do. Support team advisors. Finally. Mm. We are currently experiencing a high number of calls. You are number 164. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Alright, 5.30. Let's get out of here. So, 9 to 5.30? That's... John, mate, where do you think you're going? Um, I'm going home. It's 5pm. I think we're entitled. Didn't you get my email? I marked it as important. You couldn't have missed it. No, I didn't get your email. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, long story short, there's been a bit of a foul-up. Anyway, I need the Royal Oak files completed by the start of tomorrow. I think it can keep. Hmm, no can do. The big man upstairs says it's tomorrow or your department is in deep doo-doo. I'll stick around and help you out. Well, it's John's cases. I don't think we should set a precedent of sharing out work. Well, I guess I'd better get back to my desk then. Pussy. What about Molly? Oh, get a sitter. You go home. Good lad. I think that kid can manage oh, on her own. Well, if you're sure. I'll see you outside Molly's school tomorrow. Can see you tomorrow, Shaz. Can you and get remember, some food for her? Night, so don't get up to too much There's trouble. nothing in the freezer. <sighs> you never sent an email, did you? <laughs> Shit rolls downhill, mate. Wow. Oh my god, I would have beaten the fuck out of that guy. 165th item. <laughs> I would have beaten the fuck out of that guy if he said that to me. That's why I don't do corporate too well. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Cheers, David. Oh, jeez, it's already 8.30. Dave. Can I punch Clyde in the exactly Boston? I hope Molly has a key. He's not a I mean, he is a loser, but he's got a lot of bullshit in his life right now, David. <laughs> They're making you feel bad for him, and I f they did a good job. Working. Awesome kid, though. She's gonna be all disappointed. And hungry. Uh-oh, wait a minute. He was winded from running 20 feet. Is he okay? Going up the steps. Yeah, all right, he's fine. Oh, jeez. Dad. God damn it! You forgot dinner, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'll fix you something. I'll throw some things together. I think there's some jelly in the fridge. Oof. Uh. All right, let's have that then. It's kind of late for you to get back. I've been here since three o'clock. Oh. Well, Molly, what do you want me to do? Get a childminder? Yes. All right, I gotta take off. I gotta go. Pick All right, no worries. I'll be back. All right. You don't need a childminder. And anyway, we can't afford one. Well, I did my homework. Do you want to check it? 
No, I believe you. You don't need me to check it. You're smarter <laughs> than me anyway. I'm just going to rest my eyes for a minute and then, uh, then I'll sort out dinner. Oh, that's not going to happen. And then end up depressed because of John, right? Lift, so it's either Brit it's it's uh England. We're in London. David. No worries, Matt. Yeah, yeah, it is, David. Don't fall asleep, buddy. You know you're not getting up. Actually worse, I already know what's about to happen. Okay, my resume chat's count is a way off. You were made for each other. Molly, I'm, I'm sorry. Overslept again. Wait a minute. Where am I? Hey, gaming. Molly? Molly, are you here? What the hell is all this stuff? Mm. Where the hell am I? What's up with my voice? My body feels weird. My God. I got foam on my walls. I got that kind of camera. I don't have that kind of lighting. I got shitty lighting. I definitely don't have any posters. Or stuffed animals. He's got a Gundam. I saw that too. Looks like he makes pretty decent money. Hey, I got a French press. That's how I made my coffee, except mine's stainless steel, not glass. Do not own a flat screen. Don't like a lot of Japanese things, like, not a huge fan. Is that a Steam controller? Nah, it's just totally not a PS4 controller. <laughs> nope, don't own one of them. And I certainly wouldn't work out in front of my windows. <laughs> wow. Definitely wouldn't have any kind of modern art. My kitchen would be much nicer. Alright, so that's the way out. Was this the bathroom? Pretty nice bathroom. Sweet. All right, cool. Chapter two, guys. I was worried about that. I didn't know if this game was going to be at released episodically or whatever the term is. So there's that. I'm going to uh, fill up my coffee again and also take a quick bathroom break. So give me one second. And I have to tab out and leave you with nothingness because otherwise I can't mute my mic. So yeah, be right back.
All right, what a miss, what a miss. That would be my first reaction. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I have hair. <laughs> uh... All right, so I'm most mostly interested in her, but uh, which one do you guys want to see? Because I let you guys choose last time. As a matter of fact, I'm going to reset my restream chat. Hi, Panda. Again. Yeah, I'm going to reset my restream chat because the number count's all messed up. There we go. So... Why did the Latino need anxiety mitt? What? Uh oh, am I not gonna like this? It says 16 again. There's no, there's not 16 people watching. According to my count, there's 11. I don't get it, Panda. But yeah, so. To anybody who's just showing up here, first one we did is Stranger Danger, where this chick met up with her friends, and they saw this guy, and he kept bringing these people into a home, and he kept leaving, but the people never came out with him. So they followed him one day, and they found him in this old abandoned building with a swimming pool in it, and when they were looking at him, he had glowing green eyes. Yeah. And long story long is, he saw them, they tried to run away, Donna, the chick on the right, tripped and fell, and got stuck on something. He comes out, doesn't say a word, and actually undoes the thing that uh, she was caught on, puts his hand out to help her up, and her friend knocks him the fuck out. <laughs> So, instead of just leaving, they decide to tie him up and in the building, and the, that sequence ends with him waking up. So that's kind of weird. Flash forward to the middle girl. She is this stern robot bureaucrat. Basically a cut. Not really much known about her work. They allude to some project that, whatever, doesn't really matter. First thing she does when she gets off work is go sleep with some dude. As soon as she's done sleeping with some dude, she goes home to his, her fucking husband and son. And you just saw what John's doing. So, yeah. Now you're all caught up. Someone tell me which one to do first. Anybody. You're gonna head out? Alright, take it easy, Panda. No matter what the fuck. Anybody, anybody. Stranger again, Bastard? Lame story goes first. Lame? I thought that was actually, like, story-wise the most interesting. I think hers is the most lame, but I like her. Gonna wait another couple seconds for anyone else to respond, otherwise I'm just gonna do Stranger Danger. And all the stories will come together at some point, according to the uh, Steam page. Okay, you're taking too long. Stranger Danger it is. The next station is Cobbett Square. Previously on Last Stop. Did you see that guy just then? I keep seeing him bringing home different girls. What's I've I not seen one of them leave. Let's follow him. I want his number. Holy shit! Get a video of this! <laughs> Leg it! Help! We need to move him. Let's get him inside, out of sight. Where the hell are you? So I guess I didn't need to explain it. I don't know how this polling system and stuff works on Twitch, so don't bother with that. Honestly, because I can't even see it. Is it? Okay, I'm starting to realize that's not my hair, that's the green screen fuzz. 
So I keep going like this to fix my hair and it's not... Not... It's fine. I should probably move my camera down a little bit. Because I'm leaning forward so much. Why is my pin always messing up? Alright, so the chick that called her is her sister, and she's a cop, and she's mad. Oh, my bad. Basically, you just put a poll up, which opinions to vote for. Well, I mean, I appreciate it, Boston, but like I said, I don't... I don't know how it works. I can't see it. <laughs> With an iron pipe. Bump. That's some great sound. <laughs> yeah, right? If you hit someone over the head with, uh, you know, a lead pipe or whatever. By the way, I haven't seen actual lead pipes in years. And it just goes, boop. You're doing something wrong. So my guess is she's running. Yep, there's your sister. To be like, oh, no, sorry, we were just out. And she's going to ask, where's everyone else? Wait for it. Watch. Who's that she's with? Is that her and friend? And here she is. This is not on. You told Mum you'd text her. You didn't. You said you'd be at the Vex house. You weren't. We were worried about you, Donna. Is everything okay? Just a moment, Ash. I'm not finished. Where the hell were you, Donna? Where are your friends? What prevented you giving us even a courtesy text? I got distracted. I'm really, really sorry. It won't happen again. I had to come out here this late. No, you I didn't. I have work in the morning. Mum's got enough on her plate. You were out with Vivek again, right? Where is he? I don't know. He's still at youth club. You're lying again. I wonder how Vivek's dad feels about his son staying out all hours. Well, Why don't I ask him while we're here? I bet he'll appreciate me knocking on his door in the middle of the night. Or you can mind your own fucking business. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Babe, it's pretty late. Perhaps we should all just go home. Oh, perfect. My fiancé's taking your side now. I don't know what's happened with you, Donna. You're always in your head. You're never at home. You never help around the house. Okay, I get it. I'm a total screw-up. Mm. Are you happy now? Let's just talk about this in the morning. Fine. I've done all I can. You two can sort it out amongst yourselves. I know him um, can come on a bit strong at times, but she loves you. She has your best interests at heart. Fuck her! <laughs> can we change the record, please? I just want to go to bed. No kid her age is going to say that. Has Sorry. Something happened? No. No kid. I'm not your sister. No, you ain't. I'm not going to ask where you were. But you can always tell me if you're in trouble. No, I can't. Thanks. Good to know. You're marrying my sister, the cop cunt. So, obviously, I cannot tell you. <laughs> I love your sister, Donna. I just want us all to be safe and get along. Very good. Can we go now? You're sure nothing happened tonight? There's nothing wrong. Nah, we just saw an alien. Don't worry. We're just tired, that's all. Okay. Let's get ourselves home before I get a scolding too. So, those two are getting married and whatnot, but they still live at home? <laughs> With the mom? <laughs> and you're, she's bitching about what a screw up you are? <laughs> just saying. Hope you're not both dead. So they're not answering. Who the fuck would go to sleep that easy? Like, I know I have problems sleeping with her, but who the fuck would go to sleep after that kind of night? Just like, hey, whatevs. 
Oh, here's the here's the running we were talking about. Just look at that running mechanic. It's so cringy. Where am I? There I am. And that alien music is not helping. Watch a Ramones cut. It took me a minute to get what, what you were saying. <laughs> Just an both day. <laughs> oh shit, where am I going? Nope, not that way. One of you dead's fine, just not both. <laughs> there. Okay, that kind of freaked me out. Am I going in here? Yeah, I am. Okay. Oh, this is the this is the building. See the Bill and Wendy are going out together. I thought they were already seeing each other. No, they've been seeing each other for a bit, but we now just, they're actually. Has he going said out. anything? Bill's such a player. I wonder how long that will last. Thought you guys were dead. How come you didn't text me back? We had to go off the grid. I smashed my phone so they couldn't use my GPS. Fucking conspiracy theories. How did it go with your sister? Mm. Things are getting a bit tense at home. It couldn't be worse timing, to be honest. Why? What's wrong? Just dumb family stuff. Has he said anything yet? Not a peep. He just sat there staring at us. Pretty weird. I didn't dare sleep. I don't trust Viv's not tying skills. Mm. Hey! I can't believe how tired I am. Did you bring any food? How can you think of food right now? We've been here all night. I'm pretty hungry too. Mm. Okay, let's get some supplies. We could do with tying the fella up a bit more securely. Cool. Becky, you stay here. Me and Viv will head out. Why don't Hang I on, that's stay bullshit. here? You just got here. Yeah. How about you stay and me and Viv go? Yeah, that's a horrible it's idea. Cool. I'll watch him. You both go and bring back some food and some zip ties or something. Uh. Oh. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Come on already. I'm getting hangry. So. You and Vivek stayed up the entire night. What did you get up to? You didn't oh, mention sorry, anything about me to your Welcome sister back. last night, yeah? What did I miss? Why would I... Um... Sister bitched you out. Sister's fiancé tried to be nice to you. I said, fuck off. Uh, Ran right back. They've been up all night. And now they're going out for food. That's what it. happened with Molly's dad? Oh. He fell asleep. Uh, when he woke up, he was in Jack's body. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how it ended. Interesting. Yeah, that's the part I knew about. Do that. Just, it was self-defense, yeah, and he's not dead or anything, so it's not even a crime, really. It's, uh... Becky, I didn't say anything. It was Viv's idea to tie him up, and if you hadn't got stuck on that fence or whatever, we wouldn't even be in this situation. Mr. Hughes is going to kick off if we have much more time off school. Screw school. It's the least of our problems. It is. <laughs> so what are we getting again? Some Food. stuff to tie the guy up with and some sort of weapon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why don't you leave the talking to me? As if I would actually say it like that. What's up? I need some duct tape, some rope. Uh, you got any sh- oh, knives? <laughs> Just kidnapped a fella. We're looking for some. Yeah, no, we got this guy tied up, and and the thing <laughs> is, we really don't think what we tied him up is gonna hold. It's a long story. Like my friend here hit him over the head. He was knocked out for a bit, so he's probably still a little bit woozy. But we don't want to risk it. No, 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 like supply kit or nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or he'll just say, ah, oh, aisle three. A Stanley knife, uh, a roll of duct tape, and a bunch of double thick zip ties. <laughs> How old are you? Should you two be in school. And cut the day off. It's a teacher training day. Mm, right. Wear your school uniform every day, do you? We didn't know. Do you really care, mate? Come on. Mm. Firstly, no, not really. <laughs> I do care about going to prison. 
You're not buying this knife, you're too young. Take it. <laughs> Out. Can I get some duct tape and the rest of the shit then? That went well. Oh, it's fine. I nicked all that stuff when we first walked in there. I love you, Becky. Oh, you little thief! Come on, let's not hang about. I'm not exactly thrilled about walking around town with all this murder stationery on us. Hold up. Where's she keeping it? Just throwing it out there. Mr. Hughes. What are you two doing here? Why aren't you at school? Uh. Oh, we've uh, been sent God, by Mr. Horrible. Harris to pick up some glue for woodwork. Yeah, I guess they ran out. Not buying it. You two are in a lot of trouble. What are you doing here? That's what I should have said. Oh, for Pete's sake. Family problems. Look, I don't have time for this. Just get back to school and we'll talk about this another time. Too close. You've got crap chat, that's your problem. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah? Well, feel free to chip in whenever you want next time. Come on, let's just get some food and go back. Do you think it would be weird if Might I asked well for Huh? Yeah, <laughs> she's a sweetie. Would it be weird? I was a loser. Oh man, that would be weird. You really gonna ask him out? Yeah, I was thinking about it. Just had such a good time with him last night. With the... D Nothing says bonding like, you know, kidnapping. <laughs> kidnapping and uh, aggravated assault. It's not aggravated assault. What's up? You've gone <laughs> quiet. You does seem like a bit of a Casanova though. Hmm. What? Don't be weird. What's going on? I'm the weird one. Sorry. I'm just worried about the stranger and stuff. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Fair enough. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, no. We totally forgot to get any food for Viv. Fuck him. Oh, just don't mention it to him. He's probably forgotten anyway. <laughs> Bastion. Hey, Donna forgot to get you any food. Why the f? Oi! <laughs> no worries. Probably should head back anyway. I'll get food at home. Sorry about the food. We did get some cable ties and a box cutter, though. Okay. I guess we can. That's the knife security. you got. <laughs> what are you gonna hijack It'll a plane? It'll do the job, like. <laughs> Okay, he's not going anywhere for now. Let's hope he doesn't have superhuman strength as well. Dude. I really need to go. Me too. I need to figure out a good excuse or I've been on the way home. Ask me oh, what questions. would you? Of course not. Donna, you okay staying here while we're gone? <laughs> yeah, you go get some sleep. We'll be back as soon as we can. I just need to make an appearance for Dad. Did he say anything while you were looking after him? Nope. I did try talking to him, but not a word. Hey, hot stranger. We're going now. Please don't eat our friends. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Bye, Donna. Come on, Viv. <laughs> yeah, Matt, don't, don't be doing any of that, please. I can... You just don't. Just don't. <laughs> Look. Oh my God, David. Oh, this is stupid. We should have just called the police last night. Probably would have got away with a caution, maybe an asbo at most. I think that ship sailed now, hasn't it? What do you Oh think? my god, bastard. Oh, come on, say something. <laughs> Just so I know you don't have brain damage. <laughs> or is that your tactic? It probably To was. throw me off guard. Yeah, that's your plan, isn't it? To hope that I'll feel guilty and set you Kick free. him in the pool, see what happens. Sorry, what? 
Well, we all know she's the easy one, so you know. <laughs> mm. All right, well, I'll just amuse myself then. Seems like you have been. Also, the last thing you do is walk away into a position that you can't do. Is anything. Becky your friend? Oh, God. You see how she turned around? She's like, ha! Like, what, what are you gonna do, girl? He just asked a question. Calm down. You spoke. Say that again. Is Becky your friend? Wait. You know Becky? Of course. Oh, you do? She hit me. Mm. She's why I'm with you now. Yep, that's Becky. So you don't really know her then? Could I stretch my legs a moment? You must think I was born yesterday. I would have asked your friends last night, but they were too deep in their own conversation. You gonna tell me what they were talking about? My legs are stiff. All right, fine. You can nope, walk around that's for a not bit. What no I funny want. stuff. That's I, and try speaking more normally. I can try. Okay. Up you get then. You can have ten minutes. Fuck that gig! How about you just do one on one leg at a time, let him you know, get some blood flowing and then So, what were Becky and Vivek talking about? They were very animated with each other. Animated about what? I don't care about the it's drama. Right. I want to know about this creepy guy with the glowing eyes. We had a deal, remember? Do you find it difficult opening up to people? But the what is this? Therapy? Mm. Please. I'm getting enough of that from my sister. Emma? What? Oh, what? How'd you... You mentioned her last night. Hmm. Huh. So, you were awake the whole time? No offense, but that's a bit creepy. I'm interested. I'm interested. You know how condescending that sounds? <laughs> it's exactly the sort of crap Emma would say, just to piss me off. I see. The thing is with her is that she treats me like Don't a child. Don't give her- Stop me. And then expects me to Apparently this is therapy for her. I can't win. Sounds like you hate her. Uh, I don't know what to choose because I wouldn't choose any of those. <laughs> Just don't get on. At all. Put it this way. If we weren't related, we wouldn't even know each other. You'd be better on your own. What are you saying? I think I would like to sit down now. All right. Mom, by me. Time up. Time up. That's May a big. I ask you a question? <laughs> David. Of course. When we saw you last night swimming, something very bizarre happened. What was that? I enjoyed our talk. Earlier. You didn't answer the question. Stop trying to change the subject. If you promise not to tell anyone, maybe I could show you. Do what? Okay, go for it. Come a little closer. Fuck no! Hey! <laughs> Saved by the bank. Come on, what are you waiting for? Uh... Are you all right, Donna? Don't mind her. Just show me what you did last night. Okay. 
Getting a little weird in here. So now you've gone quiet all of a sudden? Because of Becky? Don't worry, she's not going to hurt you. Stop pissing around. It's not funny. We're in some real shit here, Donna. Fine, don't believe me then. Is Viv on his way? No, I texted to say he was in shit with his dad. He didn't text me. How long are we going to keep this up? Moise is throwing a sick house party tonight. Everyone's going to be there. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I guess we should probably talk it through when we're all here. I gotta go, Becky. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, Ash. Where is everybody? Your mum was feeling a bit poorly, so took herself to bed. Emma's out at the moment. Oh. Hope mum's okay. Sorry I'm late. I had to stay after school. Okay, well, I think I'll go straight to bed. I'm shattered. How was school today? Yeah, it was all right. Pretty good. I thought if you had to stay late, you must have had detention. Nah, not detention. I just decided to do my homework in the library instead. Where's your school bag, Donna? Fuck. <coughs> Must have left it somewhere. Oh my god. Seriously, what's... Fucking interrogation. What do you want? Oh. I see you've decided to grace us with your presence. She's been doing her homework at school. Apparently. Is mum alright? She's fine. By the way... Thanks for cooking dinner tonight. We all really enjoyed it. Just, Ash said she was poorly. I said she's fine. <laughs> Perhaps give your sister some space this evening, Donna. Look, I just asked if Mum was okay. Why are you on my case about it? I have enough to worry about without dealing with you again tonight, Donna. You're late home again. So go be worried about it then. After all the palaver <laughs> of last night. <coughs> I was revising for my GCSEs with Vivek. I, I thought you said you were doing your homework. It's always Hardly. Becky and Vivek beginning to think they matter more to you than your own family. Oh, sick of this. I'm going out. Where are you going? Oh, none of your damn business! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on with the alien dude. Seriously, if you had a guy kidnapped, Specs, leave a message. would you do with any of this shit? Why is your phone off? Call me back when you get this. I'm on my way over. Worst kidnappers ever. I mean, they're also kids, so... Pretty fucking stupid, too, at that point. <laughs> and no one knows how to run. Remember that video of that prancing lady? I I'm getting that kind of vibes when I see these people quote-unquote run. Still not as bad as Naruto running. What's that? Your arms back behind you. Oh, that stupid anime thing? Yeah. How is that a thing? <laughs> no one in the history of history runs ran like that and actually successfully ran fast or got anywhere. Humans are designed to pump their arms for balance, just like how pigeons bob their heads when they walk for balance. It's just in our biology. And they're all dead. Please tell me they're all damn. <laughs> That's the reason why money for pre-made animation is often well spent. Yeah. What are you doing back here? Yeah. Just checking in. Come on. I'll take over. You go to that party. Seriously? No, not seriously. What the fuck? Yeah. Don't sweat it. Awesome. The stranger behave himself? Yeah, fine. You heard from Viv. I wonder if he can make Moises too. <laughs> They're going to a fucking party. I don't know. Haven't heard from him in a while. I'll give him a call. 
I tried calling you earlier. Oh, right. Yeah, I'd switched it off to save battery. You're kidding me. We should probably leave our phones on at all times from now on. Okay, cool. See you later. Right, you seem upset. It's nothing. Is it your sister? What did I just say? Mm. I thought we could continue our conversation from earlier. Fucking therapist. <sighs> okay. Let's get something oh, straight I here. To grab water or the I'm not your mate. We're not going to be friends at the end of this. So you should be careful about pissing me off right now. Unless you want to see the bottom of that pool. I understand. Good. Donna? What? That's not good. This is my knife. You asked me a question yesterday. You could have escaped. What are you still doing here? You wanted to see what it is that I can do. Do you still want to see? Hell yeah! Yes. Then loosen my restraints. But... This is where it's gonna end. Motherfucker. Oh, shit. We got angels. This is the fucking adjustment bureau. Told you. Creepy. That, that's your first instinct. That's your first instinct. Ash! What are you doing here? I, I had a suspicion you were keeping a secret. I was worried about you. I really wish you hadn't have come. So I followed you down here. Waited outside to see if you'd come out. Just come over here for a moment and we can sort this out. I need to get Emma. Ash, wait! Oh my god, someone stop her! Please, Ash! Stop a second! I can explain everything! Well, shit. <gasps> Got interesting to say the least. Mm -hmm. Still can't believe the kids went to a fucking party. Uh oh. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Well then. I gotta grab me some water. I'll be right back again, guys. I'm gonna go drink too. Typical Morgan Freeman character, what? <laughs> I gotta say, this game is getting good. I had... Honestly, I didn't know what to think about the game when I saw the trailer. It looked interesting, but it also gave me kind of like pause about a few things. I'm definitely enjoying it. <laughs> um... Fuck it, let's do her again, because I liked her. The next station is Platt Square. I really liked her. Previously on Last Stop. Are you right, babe? Yeah, just had a long day. My babe's saving the world again, is she? 
The most exciting desk job there is. See you've met Amy. Is that her name? She's getting fast-tracked. What? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. Let's see who comes out on top. Dad. I think the game's great so far, best. How's life inside the military industrial complex? <laughs> Blown up any babies with your death robots this week? Oh, fuck off. No, sorry. But hey, maybe when you overthrow the government, you can have me thrown in the gulag. That might cheer you up. All I see in the news these days is robots. Robots killing people, robots taking jobs, robots having sex with people. What? You know, in my day, we'd have balloted if someone tried to give a job to a bloody robot. Strong industrial action is what we need. It said present day. What the? Did you get your test results back from Dr. Lund? That's another thing that's gone to the dogs. The state of the health service in this country. Angry old man. It's a bit stuffy in here. Should we get some air? Nini, you're just trying to shut me up? Well, I won't fall for it. I guess I'll feed the pigeons without you then. Hmm. Well, don't dawdle. Lead on. Why do I never get to see my grandson? Dad, he visits you at least once a month. But you come over here every day. Mm. And aren't you lucky to have such a devoted daughter? Yeah. Sure. Your allotment doing okay? Bastards took it away from me. What? I don't get it. Didn't you share it in a cooperative? The fascists closed ranks and forced me out didn't have the stomach for my radical proposals. And there it is. Here you go, comrades. <laughs> Get your beaks around this manky old bread. Dad, I wanted to ask something. I call these two Tony and Alistair. <laughs> Mangy old bear. Was it always easy being married to Mum? What? Hmm? I mean, it can't have always been smooth sailing, right? Where did you get that idea? Our marriage was strong. Your mother shone like gold. You know, she saw the yeah, beauty right. in all things, Nini. No matter how cracked and broken. <laughs> Spending 40 years seeing the world through her eyes was a privilege. We used to drive her up the wall. Remember that time we took in that injured sparrow? <laughs> yes, we, uh, we put it in the airing cupboard. And it made a mess of all her nice clothes. Oh, your mother loved coming here to feed the birds. You know, everything took a turn for the worse when she left us. It did, didn't it? You had a loving family. <laughs> I don't know why you turned out like you did. It's getting chilly. We should get you back inside. <laughs> Had enough of me, I see. Okay. Take me home. <laughs> what a dick. I love I, it. I, uh, imagine you're in a hurry to get back to work. No, I'm done for the day. Good. You'll have time for a cuppa then. I had Julia come round here the other day. You know, 
Julia from the book club. Anyway, she was trying to get me to sponsor her boy to climb some hill in South America. Can you believe the cheek of it? What does climbing a mountain, let alone traveling all the way to Argentina, have to do with charity? Mm. They've got that's, the wrong that's way a good around. question. I'm not paying for someone to have a lavish holiday. Who do they think they are? It's an insult, to be honest. And if you want a holiday, you can have a weekend in Wales like the rest of us. Don't be shy. I'll have a little more sugar. Keep it coming. Jesus, Dad. <laughs> a little more. Oh, my God. You want some uh, tea with that sugar? How, how long do I have to do this? Seriously, game. I, I am doing it. What the fuck? Oh, just had to stop. Okay. Need a bunch of chocolate biscuits. Uh oh. What? What is this? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your vitals in the corner. That's cool. <laughs> that's <laughs> your tiredness, your hunger. Oh my god, that's cool. Am I being set up? What the hell's going on? Did someone plant this? Hang on a second, what's this? Oh my god. That's this is great. Doesn't seem to be hiding anything on person. No hidden merchants. <laughs> sure. Found I've found his entire stash. <laughs> no signs of wiretap either. Police haven't gotten. To... What the fuck? Eye condition. Don't appear to be bloodshot. Pupils not dilated. No residual signs of intoxication. Seems <laughs> composed. Oh my god. I, I like this. This is fun. Is this what I think it is? Put it away. Poking around in other people's business. Um. What the hell are you doing with drugs in your flat? Oh, stop in such a wet blanket. They're therapeutic. You know, I use them scientifically. <laughs> <laughs> Said every really? addict ever. I just can't fathom it. You, of all people. Why would you? They're psychedelics. Safer than riding a bus, you know? I, I take them to broaden my mind. Shut the fuck up. Where are you getting them from? Oh, so the stuff shirt is taking an interest, huh? You want some too? Try one of mine if you like. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I mean, just tell me who the dealer is. Oh, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen, Nini. A bizarre city in the middle of the desert with strange beings with, with red and green skin. And a huge flower with glowing walls. Uh, Jesus yeah. Christ. That's like fun. His name, Dad. It sounds horrible, Calls himself actually. Spider. He was very easy to find. I looked him up online at the library. Oh my Here, God. I'll write down his phone number. Yeah, because trusted dealer you can find online. Oh, jeez. That's the guy she's sleeping with. His name's Felix, apparently. Dad, I've got to go. Don't do any more of those. Promise. All right. Off you pop. Okay. Dad's into acid. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, I just keep looking over on my phone to triple check that the uh, chat's still working. And to get the viewer count. Can I help you? Hello. I don't think we've met before. You're Wendy, aren't you? Right. 
I'm Mina, your dad's friend. I know who you are. Deez. Oh, good. Well, going anywhere nice? Nope. I think I'll go now. Sure. I like your wedding ring, by the way. Jesus. Hey, you. Didn't expect to see you today. Did you tell your daughter I'm married? Is that a problem? Yeah. How much does she know? I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. This could make things difficult. I guess I could always try and win her over. Take her out for a coffee or something. Do you think she'd go for that? No. Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no need to sugarcoat it. Anyway, you gonna invite me in? Hello, Mr. Spider. Good to meet you. How are you? Is this a wind-up or something? I'm looking for some gear. Can you help out or not? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, that's a shame. If you're not interested in my money, I'll have to phone that other guy. Come to the alley off Cherry Tree Lane <laughs> in about 30 minutes. That was easy. Hey, by the way, everyone, drug dealers aren't that smart. <laughs> what? What'd you say? I said they're not. That's what I said. Yeah, Matt, don't, uh, like I said, don't, don't be trying to help me out with that stuff, okay? It's, it's not cool, alright? Are you the bird on the phone? It's to you. Who else would I be? Let's do this then. What are you after? You! Beat the fuck out of him! <laughs> Jesus, what are you playing at? You do all your deals around the back of a primary school? Anyway, this little business, it's over. No more dealing, no more clients. You're done. Find another profession. <laughs> you what? A bit slow on the uptake, eh, Spider? <laughs> Let me put it more clearly. If you sell drugs again, I'll absolutely obliterate you. Got some mouth on you. Drug on love before I take it to heart. Oh dear. Wrong answer. <coughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to hurt you now. Are you serious? Really? Oh, what? He's gonna analyze. <laughs> You're gonna take the time to fucking analyze this? Uh, hang on one second. I see something that I gotta look at real quick. Make sure it's not important. It's not. Okay. How about a slouch? <laughs> No, no. Okay, she's not the fucking Terminator. Poor physical strength, muscle mass, inconsistency between both arms, suggest masturbation abuse. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Increase pit body odor indicative, indicative of chronic nerves. Oh my god. Sweaty palms suggest first time holding a blade, like the blade, low reach, blunt. <laughs> Oh my god. Severe muscle deficiency. Quite a separate. I love it. Ow, ow, 
Ow, yeah, that's my arm. <sighs> Gavin Briggs, flat 114, Oriel House, the villas. Very nice. You've done well for yourself. I think it'd be a good idea if you did as you're told. Don't you, Gavin? Yeah. What was that? Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna hang on to your license. So make sure you stay out of trouble. You wouldn't want me appearing on your doorstep, would you? You're crazy. Who the hell are you? Do what I say and you won't need to find out. Now get lost. <laughs> I love it. Now Dad's gonna find some other dealer for his truck. Good point. <laughs> if he keeps so looking, if he keeps looking him up online, no woman disrespects Spider. <laughs> You've got bare bad things coming your way. You're kidding me, right? You're fucking kidding me, right, kid? I know where you live in your full name. I'm gonna smash your in Ed. Your <laughs> Come on, there we go. Most definitely female dog. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, dinner. We made it. Having fun with your extracurricular activities. <clears throat> what, what are you talking about? You know, all the extra work you've been doing. You should be getting paid overtime for working so hard, so late. Why do you always have to work late, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> We've been over this, darling. Mum has a really important job. It's like a big competition where the best win. And Mum is the best. You're the best as well. He's come see, come sir. <laughs> what does that mean? It means it's past your bedtime. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yep. Didn't eat his vegetables. Nope. Come on, Dylan. I'll tuck you in. Oh, Dad, can't you do it? He didn't eat anything. To your mum. It's fine. Good night, Dylan. I'm gonna have to cancel tonight. Why? What's wrong? I think Dan knows. I don't know, maybe I'm being paranoid. Look, I don't want to step between you and your family. That's very noble of you. <laughs> so, when can I see you? Let's play it by ear. Right, David. I'll text you. So now, wait, is she actually at work now? Yes, she is. Oh, wait. So I guess this is the morning? Uh oh, uh oh, that's the balls. Hughes, you didn't disappoint. I had a look through your examination results. They're very strong. Damn right. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I am ready to take on the challenge. Dun, 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 dun. Not quite yet. Yeah, I knew that. I want to give Amy another shot. We're going to do another round of interviews. Just the two. <laughs> of course. Sir, with respect, I am the far more qualified candidate. This assignment means a great deal to me. There's a long personal history attached to this. You can understand why I want to be absolutely sure I have the right person. Yeah, I understand. But you found them. She's standing right here. I'm not afraid of a little competition. Oh, 
Okay. Bring it on. There she is. She's actually been the most drama. Didn't really expect that. From her chapter. Alright. So let's go back to John now being in Jack's body. The next station is so so we got it. So we got some cheating wife. Previously on last stop. Being a bitch. I know. I'm running late. Let me get sorted. We got an angel What's the deal prisoner. What's the always coming to us? And then this. Uh, do you have any posts for us? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. There you go. You see that? Couldn't even bother to bring me my damn post. I like him. Are you guys all right? You too, you too. We're made for each other. Each other. I'm probably gonna go all night with this and try to finish it today. I'm really fucking enjoying this. This is a really good game. I'm liking it. I was I'm blown away and pleasantly surprised right now. Oh, you're safe. Yeah, wrong button. Are you see my dad. I think he's sick. Yeah, can you let me in? Okay. I guess I'm not a stranger. He's locked himself in his bedroom. I'll go and talk to him. To be fair, if I woke up and I'm like 20 plus years older, fat and bald, with a kid all of a sudden, I'd be pretty fucking upset too. <laughs> It is, isn't it, David? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, what the hell has happened to me? Jack? Is that you? You okay? No. No, I'm really not. I'm having a terrible nightmare. I'm horribly disfigured and fat <laughs> All right, tone it down a notch. My daughter's out here. Who the hell are you? Why do you sound like me? Open the door. <gasps> Jesus H Christ, you've stolen my body. I haven't done anything. Do you think I've got a clue what's going on? Wait. Oh, I recognise this face in the mirror. If this is your body, that must make you the bloke who brings the post! Up, oh, jackass! Seriously? My name's John. We've met like ten times. Look, <laughs> this is not important right now. Help! Help! <laughs> what is- Shut up! No! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> this game is great, Sadik. Oh, hey, Sadik. Uh, okay, fantastic. well- Let's leave your dad to have a rest, and I'll get you off highly, to school. Highly, highly recommend this game. Sure. This Let's little girl. My dad. This little girl's awesome. Oh, it's fine. He just hit his head on the sink, you know, when he was cleaning his teeth. I told him to have a little lie down. But Mr. Gilbert said if you have concussion, you shouldn't sleep. God damn it! You might not wake up again. He doesn't have concussion. But are you a doctor, Jack? <laughs> I know what's best. Is Dad going to have to go to the hospital again? Oh, jeez. No. He'll be back to normal in no time. Just... He has to go to the doctor about his heart sometimes. Trust me, Mole. He'll be fine. You've never called me Mole before. So, Will you make sure so if you uh, just getting in here, Sadik, um, long story long is it, this game is split up in between three different stories. And uh, the guy, the character that you're seeing, the model is Jack. The body is Jack. And the fat guy 
the character is John, but they they like got in they switched each other's bodies because they accidentally ran into this guy who has and we don't know anything about this guy and he kind of made it so so yeah. So technically that's dad talking to his daughter, but he looks like the asshole neighbor. If that makes sense. That's okay when I'm at school. He can't have fried food. He isn't allowed. Well, I'm just going to pop home after this to check on him. Or cheesecake. He'll ask you for it by saying no. Okay, Molly. I've got it. No hey, Molly. Hello. Whoever you are. Oh, that's... That's the dad's hey, Shaz, friend. This is Jack. Hello, Jack. Molly, where's your dad? He hit his head on the sink and has concussion. No, oh he doesn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Jack brought me to school while he sleeps it off. It's not quite as dramatic as all of that. Who are you again? Mm. I told you. He's Jack. Shut up, Molly. <laughs> Molly, why don't you run along to school? Okay. Okay, what's really happened to John? Why the hell are you taking his daughter to school? Okay, I can explain. You better. I'm calling the police. <laughs> I'm, um, John's cousin. Right. Why don't I believe you? Test me if you like. Ask me something that only someone close to John would know. Yeah. I'm not playing games. Please. Well, what's John's mum called? I don't fucking know! Sure. Jane Smith. Biggest phobia? Black cats. Terribly superstitious. You really John's cousin? I am. Look, I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. He asked whether you could tell Clive he won't be in today. He's going to be in the shit. Holy fuck. Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy fuck! Y'all saw that, right? Yeah. Holy fuck, Ratsy! Three, three thousand five hundred bits. A little bit of love for our beloved Dark. <laughs> Thank you, Ratsy. Wow! Shit. Wow, actually no. Thank you very much, fucking Ratsy hype. I love how that's that's how that's her introduction, by the way, to this to the stream. She she hasn't mentioned anything so far, and then she just comes in and is like, here you go. <laughs> fucking A, girl, thank you. Uh thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Ratsy, you I don't know how much you've been watching of this um game, but it is really, really Really good. You need to play this. <laughs> you would enjoy sure, it, Ratsy. You'd like. Yes. Right, Shaz. Uh, Sh Shazia. I appreciate it. John's so fragile. I often say he could use some help around the house. <laughs> well, not that fragile. <laughs> okay, Ratsy. Uh, just, just to clarify, um, John is trapped in Jack's body, and Jack is trapped in John's body. So. Jack's body with John inside was just talking to John's friend, if that makes sense. Dark.exe is stopped working exactly. Now he's going back to talk to Jack. Because, like I said, they switch bodies somehow. Right. You're not going to scream at me again, are you? He's not here. He's, like, trying to kill himself or something. <laughs> he's done a runner. <laughs> And this is just one of the stories. Amy, Jack, where are you? Oh, shit. There's some weirdo who knows my name and keeps talking about you. Who the hell is he? Ah, shit. Who's Amy? Fuck. Awesome, what's your new role? Wait. No, it's a promotion. Oh, okay, so co-worker? Friend? Huh. 
Hurry up, this guy keeps in the crates. <laughs> Jack, what the hell? Do you know this guy? Amy, it's me! I'm Jack! He's my crazy uncle. Sorry, I'm pretty sure he's high. How does he know my name? He's lying. Amy, it's me. We've been friends forever. Oh, uh, I guess I told him about you. Why? What did you tell him? Been lurking a bit. Oh, you know, just that you're really nice, that you're a nice person. Good at running. That you're really good at running. <laughs> Your favourite ice cream's rum and raisin. Your favourite sport is basketball. Shut the fuck up! Smoke, but you'll never tell anybody. Shut <laughs> up! Did you seriously tell him all this shit about me? No. No. I, um, keep a diary. And he read it. The bastard. Oh well, I'll look after him. Why don't you go to, uh... Work? Yeah, sure. Don't go! Amy! Amy, help me! I need your help! <laughs> Great idea. Sorry again about this. It's nothing personal. It just needs a cup of coffee to straighten him out. Mm. Coffee. Yeah. Bye. Amy! Jack! Jesus. Stay away from me. You've done this. You've put a spell on me or something. Okay, he's got Not a evil. heart problem and you're 20 years older. Will you stop a minute? We need to talk about this. Just leave me alone. Oh, God, my body feels so weird. Jesus, don't you ever exercise? He's gonna freaking keel over. Slow down. You'll give me another heart attack. Oh, jeez. You had a heart attack? I can't even look at you! This is so messed up. It's the same for me as it is for you, you know. Come on. I'll buy you a coffee. With whose money? <laughs> <laughs> have you got any idea how this might have happened? No. Oddly enough, this is my first time swapping bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Come on, mate. Think. I don't know, do I? Can't be all that mixed up post for all I know. Christ! What are people going to think at work? Well, I'm you, right? I've got your phone here. Let me call in sick for you. Actually, not a bad idea. <clears throat> okay, look for Sonia in my contacts. She's the receptionist at work. Tell her I got the squits or something. Ugh. If that's what Jack would say. Okay, it's ringing. Superfab Games, Sonia speaking. Hey, Sonia, it's Jack. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it in today because I got the squirts, I'm afraid. Oh, Skyver. No worries, I'll tell Derek. Enjoy your lying. Thanks. I will. Done. Yeah, Sonia's safe. Hey, hang on a minute, your phone's buzzing. No, oh, God. Answer it. Say you're me. Uh, hello? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Oh God, he's gonna have to do his job. Well, who's your daughter's school? I said to let them know in future if you plan to keep Molly home for the day. Such an idiot. What? I shouldn't have taken her to school. She must have been so confused about everything. Well, you did drop her off in my body. I mean, she possibly thought that was a little bit weird. <laughs> Shut up and help me look for her. Hey, relax. Look, she's probably just in the park, right? Playing on the swings, like, you know. Not my daughter. Yeah. You mm -hmm. need to chill out. Really? You're telling me to chill out? After that whole performance earlier? Come on! Let's go to the park, then. It feels seriously weird being you. Ugh, everything jiggles about as I'm... Yeah, well, give it 15 years and you'll feel Still the same. Pajama bottoms, Actually, why yeah, I just that? remembered that. We need that. to find Molly. <laughs> Mate, she's probably just drinking cider behind a tree somewhere. So, it... Why, why would she be drinking cider? Oh. 
alcohol free cider? Mm. Shit. Well, at least she's here. At least we got her. Dad! Oh, shit. Molly! Thank goodness you're all right. Yeah. Oh, right. hi, Jack. Nice to see you. This is going to take some explaining. So or... I didn't go to school. Am I in trouble? You're damn fucking right. No. Nah. We're cool. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Molly, promise me you'll never do that again. Eh. You scared me to death. Eh. Why are you both being so weird? Yeah. Dad, I was worried you were poorly, so I wanted to go home. But then I got scared you'd be angry. Are you going to tell her or am I? There's something we need to talk to you about. Let's get you home. I mean, she's eight. She'll fucking buy it, right? I mean, she's pretty How come smart. Jack's here? I think you should ask John that. Uh, uh, I mean, Jack. We have something to tell you that affects all three of us. Is it about our post? Sure. So, something seems to have happened last night where. Um. How would you describe it? Our brains have got swapped. Yeah. That's basically it. <laughs> And I know I don't look it, but I'm your dad. Is that weird? No. And I'm Jack. <laughs> Just so we're clear. You've swapped brains? Yes. And you're my dad? Yeah. And this isn't a joke? No. No. <laughs> okay. And chicken dip. I told you she would fucking <laughs> take it. There's a business. <laughs> so, what happens now? Uh, we get our old bodies back. All oh, right, Dad, you've got a sauce down your front. That shirt's limited edition. <laughs> it's all right. It'll come out in the wash. It won't. You both look a bit of a state. You should dress each other up properly. No, oh my God. <laughs> She's got a point. None of my clothes are going to fit me anymore. Okay, we'll go get my stuff, but I want them back in the same condition I left them. She's a smart kid. Tch. I know. I'm a lucky dad. How do you put up with feeling out of breath all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get used to it. I don't know how my clothes look so bad when you wear them. <laughs> We're going to have to perform a wardrobe transplant. Oh, fuck you. you. Go and get some clothes from the wardrobe in my bedroom. Wait, what do I have to do? I don't know where anything is. You do, jackass. Dude, this game is fucking amazing. Ooh, gaming chair. Fuck that. I want to play some games. Right. Yeah, I'll take that. Sure. I'm right, not... well, it's been quite a day. I should probably be getting to bed soon. Well, you can't stay here. <laughs> of course I can. It's my place. I thought we went over this. For all intents and purposes, you are me. The neighbours will ask questions if I'm walking Molly to school every day. So what are you saying? You want me to move in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the more I think this through, the more problems there are. What about work? I can't keep calling in sick. I'm guessing you have a job too. So what do we do? On Monday we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you. And you're going to have to pretend to be me. That's not good. One guy is a shitty office worker who pecks at a keyboard. The other guy is, uh... What do you call it? Um... Pro, uh, computer pro uh, gaming programmer. I only know that because I saw the trailer. I'm gonna take another quick bathroom break and fill up my water, guys. So we'll be right back again.
Really, Bastion? That's funny. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, perfect timing. I just got some more water and went to the bathroom myself. Alright, 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 alright. So. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna keep doing the same order I've been doing. Let's go back to the. The angel stuff. Previously on Last Stop. Has he said anything? Not a peep. He just sat there staring at us. Do you think it would be weird if I asked Vivek out? It's always Becky and Vivek. I'm sick of this. I'm going out. Is Becky your friend? What was that? Come a little closer. Ash! I need to get Emma. Please, Ash! Stop a second! I can explain everything! Ah! Friend or foe. What day is it now? It was nighttime before. Dude, sure, I don't care. Is that the. No, she was always wearing a uniform. You got your date tonight, love? Yeah. No idea where she's gonna take me, though. Nice to see you putting yourself out there. Yeah. Had enough of being single at this point. D what are you both talking about? Emma's taking a lovely girl out tonight. I should probably get ready for work. What? Does this mystery woman have a name? Hazel. Mm. Mm. Oh, sounds fancy. <laughs> She's from Croydon. <laughs> <coughs> Are you doing okay, Mum? I'm okay. I'm, I'm just going to have a little lie down. I don't think I've fully woken up yet. You all right? Of course, hon. Just one of my wobbles. Ooh, a little glitch there. Dabs, hint, and wink, wink. <laughs> okay, what's wrong with mum? Jeez. So, Hazel, hey, eh? Let's nah. go for a walk. I need to talk to you about something. Okay. I'm worried about Mum. Oh, stop overreacting. She just lost her balance, that's all. Mum is really going to need our help from now on. We've both got to pull through for her. Okay. Donna, I mean it. I don't want to see you staying out with your friends all night anymore. Oh, but you can go on a date and that's fine. I'm not trying to have an argument. Please just promise you'll spend some time with Mum this evening. You're not telling me something. I think so, it's probably best you know what's going on. So the angel made Ashley, or whatever the fuck her name, magically disappear? What do you mean? Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. I think that's what happened, and I think Donna is either... Not remembering anything, or I that don't know. Well. Oh, she's been having some tests, and they've not come back great. She's going to be okay, though. I don't know. That's a negative. Mum's a trooper. She'll be all right. <sighs> I'm going to be late for work. She doesn't remember a goddamn thing, does she? But this but is the problem. The... Is there's just okay, no way that they could have survived the radiation in the spacesuits that they were wearing? <laughs> God damn it! No one can explain that. Problem. It's not even a conspiracy. It's just fact. It's Stick not. It up. Have you seen The Shining? It's not a conspiracy. It's a fact. Said every conspiracy theorist out there ever. <laughs> Okay, it must be Saturday or something. Donna! Hey. Hey! Not getting bored yet? Eh, yeah, I passed the time doing some spring cleaning. I managed to take down that old plastic sheet at the back of the pool. Oh, I'm getting exhausted by all of this. I think we should discuss our options, all three of us. Three. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure. We can talk about it when I come back tonight. Welcome back. Did you ever make it to Moisey's party in the end? The other night? Nah, I couldn't get away from Dad. Oh, that sucks. 
Yeah. By the way, you should take some time to explore this place. There's an upstairs area at the back which is worth a look. I'll see you later. So maybe it's been a few days? I, I don't know what's going on. Up for a walk? How are you feeling today? It is pretty weird. Everyone seems to be asking me the same questions these days. I'm fine. That's good. You seemed a little unlike yourself the other night. <laughs> and you would know, right? How's your sister? She seems okay. She's got a date tonight. Interesting. She's not right. <laughs> sad. What? No, she's all right. I, I don't understand the transition from him basically making the lady disappear and now. How many days has it been? What, what, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. What the? Oh, Viv. Oh. That's gotta be awkward. Um, they yeah, were. I know. Let me What's the purpose? Were you here at the beginning? They uh, they were stalking him because he kept bringing people into his house, and the people never left. Then they caught him in this place swimming with like glowing eyes and shit. And uh, the one chick, their friend, thought he was a uh, going to attack Donna, so she knocked him unconscious, and they tied him up. So. Oh, you saw the recap. Okay, yeah. I take a photo of you. You want to take a photo of me? Unless you don't want to. Let's take a photo of me. I mean, now, okay, yeah. Cool. I mean, because I just got to free up some space on my phone. Those. She's the only one who's talked to them. As, as far as uh, everyone else is concerned, he hasn't said a word. Also, I already deleted these photos, damn it. Fuck your skateboarding. Actually, that one was kind of funny. How do I... Oh, just... There you go. I know you're not normal. You've got kooky abilities. Why are you staying here? Right now, I'm happy where I am. Okay, well, what if we decided to stop coming back here? Would you go to the police? I don't think... If he's... you didn't think I would, you would have no reason to keep me here. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm, that's probably true. Probably best I remain, then. You like being our prisoner, don't you? How does it make you feel? What? Seriously? No, you don't. Enough of your super intense questions. I want to know about you. What do you want to know? What's your name? Why do you assume I have one? Alan Dave. Star <laughs> Starry McStareface. Yep. Your name is now Starry McStareface. Enjoy. Thank you. Are you building a guerrilla army? No. Why do you only talk to me and not the others? You're not like the others. Okay. Let's play a game. Have you heard of word association? I'll say a word, and then you say what it makes you think of. Ready? Okay. I'm ready. Job. Travel. Drugs. Cheating. Mm. Death. Unnecessary. <laughs> That's my mum's favourite song. It's lovely. 
voice makes me think of her when I hear it. What's wrong, Donna? Emma told me this morning that Mum isn't well. But it doesn't matter. She's gonna be alright. He kinda sounds like, fuck Why you, Sadik. <laughs> you are. People are frail. If she's old, your mother will probably die. <laughs> Have I done something wrong? <laughs> okay, you got me on this part, Sadik. <laughs> Vivek's gonna be here soon. We should tie you back up. You definitely got me on that part. <laughs> Most definitely. But Look who's back! You still what? I think you're more like that other chick. You okay? Hmm. Yeah. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Leave him I on guard. You weren't a fan of my attempts at interior decorating. Oh, I'm sorry, Viv. The den's great. That was really sweet. Yeah, we need a hangout. I figured if the three of us are spending more time here. Kidnapping area. Oh yeah. Isn't Becky supposed to be here? I don't, I don't know. know. Not heard from her since Moise's party. She told me she was going to wash you out. Probably shouldn't have said that. Mm. She did, actually. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Oh. Why do you care about Becky asking me out? Is that why you're upset? <laughs> no! No, not really. Something else is bugging me. I mean, I don't see why you'd care about- Mom's dying and we're harboring- uh, We kidnapped a fucking angel. So, there's that. It's mom. Unless you do care who I go out with. Just listen, will ya? Sorry. What's up with your mum? Just give me a hug, yeah? What? No, that's not what I hit. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, shit. Great. More drama. Let's make out while we still have a fucking angel tied up and literally view. Didn't expect that, did you? Expect? Come on, game. Really? Hoped. This is... Come on. Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you say something? Is this one of those games where you can, uh... You know, I haven't let it run out of time, so I'm gonna do that now. Bro, what the fuck, right? <laughs> this is not the I time for... It, right? Are you sure? Uh, no, I'm just gonna let it run out, because fuck you, game! You were great. This was interesting. Then you put this shit. It's like, come on. You just put, yeah. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> really? Angel's gonna be gone by the end of the everything. Uh oh. He no likey. Or something. Is that really the full chapter? Fucking hell. Square. Previously on Last Stop. You're Wendy, right? I like your wedding ring. Did you tell your daughter I'm married? I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown up girl. Hey, Dad. What is this? Who sold these to you? Calls himself Spider. Very easy to find. We doing business or what? No more dealing. You're done. You've got bare bad things coming your way. Feels bad, man. <laughs> right, Boston. Oh uh, yeah, the drug dealer threatened me or something that I don't care about. <sighs> that was good. <laughs> we really should do this more often. I can't do this again. I mean, give me a moment. I didn't mean right this second. <laughs> Jackass. I mean this. Us. What, what do you mean? Come on. You didn't really think this was going anywhere, did you? So is that it? Yep. I've got to get going. I'm late for an appointment. Okay, well, can I meet you for a coffee sometime? I don't know, this all seems a bit rushed. Piss off. I'll send you a text or something. Gotta run. Gotta get dressed first, honey.
<laughs> What's up, Vile? Late for her husband, actually. Yep. Yep. He looks pissed. Ah, uh, did I miss the swim meet? <laughs> uh, something or miss the swim meet. Yep, there's a school. Okay, how are we doing? Am I late? Yeah, by like 20 minutes. An apology would be nice. Well, let's just get in there then. Fine. Hello, Dan. Oh. Mrs. Hughes. Oh. It's lovely to have a chance to talk to you both at last. Oh, shit. It was getting late. I'd assumed you weren't coming. I'm so sorry. We were held up. How's Dylan doing? Mrs. Adeleke, is it? Tamara, please. Sorry. I think this is the first time we've met. This is my yeah. wife, Mina. Pleased to meet you, Mina. Dylan's progress this term has been good. He's blossoming into quite the artist. I can't believe some of the stuff he brings back from school. Sorry, I've got to take this. No, let's... Mina, don't you think you could do this half week? I'm really sorry about this. It's quite all right. Okay, what were we talking about? Uh, well, mm. as I was saying, Dylan has a, a keen interest in It's going to be Sorry, Felix. Sorry, that's me again. It's going to be Felix. <laughs> yep. I'm really sorry about this. It's fine. You two continue. Well, I've never been so embarrassed. Well, I'm sorry if I don't know every detail of our son's life. That's it's not what I thought that answer would do. Oops. You're not a bad parent, Mina. You're just you're never here to do any of it. When you are, I feel like you'd rather be somewhere else. Oof. For Christ's sake, Dan, it's my job. What do you want me to do? Quit and become what? A teacher? You think we can afford to live in that house on two teachers' salaries? Get real, Dan. I'm providing for this family. Don't throw that at me. Three-hour nap that work. became five? That's called sleep, not I'm a nap. Off. You can continue this on the way home if you want. But you missed a lot, file. This game is actually really good. The last chapter we just played was not Try calling the office earlier. They said you'd left for the day. I was at an offsite. Receptionist didn't mention that. Confidentiality. Right. Sounds like you want to ask me something else. What's the point? You've always got an excuse. Oh yeah, and she's also sleeping around. Dark suit! Can we go out? What? <laughs> Eat your muesli. <laughs> and then, can we go out? Mm. No promises, not till that bowl is empty. Even the grey bits? Especially the grey bits. Can we go to the park then? Or maybe Mum would like to take you. Yeah, sure, fuck it. Would you like that, Dylan? Yeah! Self insecurity, <laughs> wait. All right, get your things. Thanks, Mina. How many partners does she have? Just one. Well, I mean, if you, can if... I go on the swings? You can do whatever you want. What's with the kids at? Mina Hughes, this is Harlequin. Please authenticate. Hughes 47 Alpha Tango. What's up? Amrit has left oh, shit, I'm supposed to be spinning your authorization on the Munich document. He's saying you must have forgotten. Can I have some money? I can't send it off without someone's signature. Tell Amrit he can authorize this himself. He should know. I explained this to him on Wednesday. Mom, I tried reaching are you, you listening? Voicemail. We need this out today. Mom! Just a moment, Dylan. Look, forget it. I'll come by the office and sort this out myself. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to cut this short. You can spend I'm the rest of the day. gonna make that kid sick. But I haven't even gone in the swings yet. 
We can go to the park another time. I have to go to work. Oh, you always say that. Fine, let's go then. I'm sorry, Dylan. Are you mad with me? What even is your job? <sighs> I've told you before, haven't I? No. All I know is that it's something to do with lying to people. <coughs> Yeah. That's not entirely incorrect. So, what is it? It's nothing you'd be interested in. Why can't you just tell me? Fine. I work for a British private military security and intelligence company. My job is to monitor, support and execute orders for our investigators out in the field. Big brother, got The it. data is brought home to be analysed, packaged up and returned to the client. Usually a government or private interest. How's that? That doesn't sound very fun. Oh, well, you wanted to know. <laughs> Any ideas what you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a teacher, like Dad, and help people. Oof. You can do better than that. Oof. What, like you? What did you just say? Nothing. I just want to go home. Look, you've got your whole life ahead of you to figure out what you want to do when you grow up. I'm just trying to help you. Fine. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I want to go home. Yes, Vile. Love the kid smart. Uh oh. So this story is actually pretty interesting. Um, a dad and a young Previously, programmer a swap bodies. What's wrong with my dad? Jesus! You've stolen my body! We're both in exactly the same situation. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. You've swapped brains? Yeah. Okay. It'll look too <laughs> suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. On Monday we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. By the way, hang on, let's see if I can pause it as soon as the, everything. Oh yeah, uh, so by the way, um, we're glancing over the fact that back in, the game begins with back in 1982, this guy, um, stole, this guy and his friend stole a, uh, cop's hat, and... Like, they were running away from the cops, and eventually they led to a dead end with a mysterious old man in a briefcase, uh, saying, you're late. He opens up this door, this giant glow comes out, she enters, not questioning it, he doesn't, and, uh, when they look back, the guys disappear, they open the door again, and it's a brick wall, and that's how the game started. And then it's flash forward to present time. We haven't seen anything regarding that except for in this chapter, the same old man with a briefcase is basically the one who swapped their bodies. Yeah. So what's the plan? The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's got to be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Let him finish. This sounds fun. First order of business, 7.30am, run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll suspect something's up. Right. And if I am, she'd automatically think I'm an imposter. <laughs> you don't know Amy. Jack loves Amy. Mm. Do not. Mm. Have you both finished? Let's review the itinerary. 7.30am, run with Amy. 7.50, visit coffee shop. 7.52, order skinny caramel macchiato, no phone. 7.53, consume beverage. I like this, Jack, actually a little more. <laughs> 7.55, jump off London Bridge. 8.15, <laughs> can I Molly a new mobile phone? 
Okay, now he's messing around. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Alright, what's up? Yep, Bastion. So, I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? First, you'll have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. Okay. So I just go up to her and say, all right, love. Pardon? <laughs> no. Try and bring it into the 21st century, yeah? Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about something she loves. Fucking A. Morale oh, cereal. Old. What do you want? Cornflakes? Focus. <laughs> Look, Amy's He's still the dad. Nerd. She could talk for hours about various plays she's into. It's incredibly boring. She's also been saying she fancies a holiday. Distracted with that. Holiday, theatre, got it. So. Oh, God. Shakespeare. He's a bit good, isn't he? Oh, shit. Oh, What's my God. What's the deal with that piss up the other day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle-aged blokes? No, God, fuck you. Oh, him? Don't worry about that. But since you asked, he's actually a great guy. Mm. You know, salt of the earth. <laughs> so, are we going for this run or what? Yeah, alright, yeah. He's a thinking man's man, you know? Shut the fuck up! Got a lot about him. Got a lot to offer. <laughs> oh, shit. Keep up if you can. Wow. I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. I'm sorry, guys. I can't time read chat. Trip, Mel. Yeah. I guess that is pretty vain, isn't it? Well, you know, role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too bad. Oh, you would love the little girl. What do you mean about me not being a good role model? Enough with the chit chat. You give me a stitch. Come on, let me hear it. What is it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless. I just said you don't set a good example. You're oh, just I'll like me. That. You're a total workaholic and a massive mm. geek. Mm. Fuck off. A massive geek. Not too bad. Yeah, I can live with that. All right, Jack. That was great. I feel fantastic. So, when can we do this again? What's going on with you? You all right? Sorry. I don't know what came over me. Call you tomorrow? <clears throat> Vile. No, it's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? <laughs> We'd better get our story straight for Shaz. Shaz is great. You're going to love her. <clears throat> Hang on, what do you mean, story? Oh, well, um, I had to make something up on the spot yesterday. From now on, we related. Huh? Welcome to the family, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Jack in the drawings. <laughs> lie to... <laughs> lie to... <laughs> That's the itinerary. Lie to friend. <laughs> oh, it's you. I was just talking to John about his mysterious cousin. All right, cuz. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. <laughs> That's unlike you, John. To give out compliments like that, it's just not your usual style. So, now your family secret's out, I'm dying to know more. What was it like growing up with John as your cousin? <laughs> Can't complain. You know, John, a total gent. Always has been. That's kind of you to say, Jack. I would only add that it was made easier by you being such a kind, considerate, patient, intelligent, handsome young man. <laughs> so how long's Jack in town for? <laughs> oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. Mm -hmm. Well, you can discuss it. What's there to discuss? Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. Mm -hmm. Where were you before you came to London, Jack? Oh, shit. Jack, uh... I just here and there. He was in Cambodia. Wow, Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know, peacekeeping, noble stuff. <laughs> no, no, give a damn. 
Okay, that's enough. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high-tech startup you see selling solar-powered submarines to the super rich. <laughs> okay, enough now. You've made your point. Well, that all sounds fascinating. I hope life isn't too slow-paced for you while you slum it with us. <laughs> this is fucking great. Well, I'm gonna head off, John. Don't be too late. Cheerio. See you later. She's nice. Submarines. <laughs> <laughs> too much. So what is it that you do for a job, anyway? Are you a taxidermist? <laughs> A taxidermist? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative. I, I work in design. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides <laughs> and make them stand up and things. It's awesome. I fucking love you, Molly. <laughs> you having me on? An artist? Doing what? So hard to believe. I work in the interactive medium. You know, video games. That's so cool. Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, not not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free to play stuff. My team makes empathy games. It's art, mm -hmm. really. You know, games which say something about the human condition, cutting edge stuff. Hipster, got it. Uh huh. I played this game. We had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. <laughs> I died. <laughs> There's one we have at work on a screensaver where you navigate through a maze. Did you do that one? <laughs> uh, no. That wasn't me. <laughs> Did you make that one with the train? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is great. So, where do you work? Super fab. It's not far from your office, actually. And people pay you to do this? <coughs> yeah. Some people say game makers are the new rock stars. No, oh, God. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? Mm. Last computer game I played was Solitaire. I'm going to be out with depth. Don't sweat it. I'll walk you through it. Think of me as a master puppeteer and you my obedient marionette. Don't forget, I need to be taken to school at some point. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my yeah, desk. Yeah. You can't <laughs> miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Oh Big my god. Because Sonia, the receptionist, avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems there. She didn't sound that dippy on the phone. You're mean, Jack. Mm. How old are you, anyway? <laughs> Eight and a half. Good age. Why? Don't know. Yeah, this is um. So the trailer I watch it's like a gameplay trailer. I've I've seen this part, so this is how I knew about everything. This part is actually stupid. Bluetooth. You would not believe how incredibly stupid this part is, and I didn't I didn't stay to finish it because it was just like, are you kidding me? Like, what is he doing? This is where I gave up. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Yeah. I didn't actually screw up the you look well rested. time events and all that. Well, what do you mean? I was actually ill, you know. Someone's a bit touchy this morning. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning! Derek's in a good mood. Yeah. Who the hell was that? <laughs> what? Jack, you sure you're not still feeling ill? Right, <laughs> yeah. I'm completely not with it this morning. I should probably get going. Didn't play Metal Gear Solid, hey, right? You never told me how your holiday was. Brilliant, thank you. Saw lots of old temples and the like. Really enlightening. In Benidorm? <laughs> okay, well, I've got to run. <laughs> Keep on keeping on. Uh, 
Bye. <laughs> so, what do I do when I get there? It's Monday. That means sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. Oh, fuck. That's no good to stuff like that. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement. It's simple, trust me. Joan is working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs. Clapton's tea shop. Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. And Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. And Maya is midway through implementing rumble support. You may as well be speaking German. <laughs> Your game sounds bad, Jack. <laughs> It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. Oh my god. It'll He's a fun. fucking hipster. Jonah Cakes, Letitia Shell Shock, Tobias Funerals, Maya Rumble. See? You're a natural. Uh, hello. Um, good weekends, everyone? Get up to anything interesting? No. Okay. Um, let's see. I totally did not so listen to So I'm supposed to, to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah. Fuck. You are modelling cream cakes, aren't you? I'll take the silence as an agreement. Okay, Letitia. Shit, uh... Hmm. Like I said, I totally you're doing was something not... with AI. No, no, I A. For retirement homes. Yeah, sounds right. Okay, Tobias. Are you rumbling? Actually, I'm not sure that's right. <laughs> and finally, Maya. Shit, I already... Okay, I fucked it up. AI. Are you doing the IA? IA. The, the AI. Oh my god. I fucked that <laughs> Sorry, up royally. I'm really. sure that's quite right. Look. Even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. You all know what you're up to, even if I don't. Oh shit! It's written right what behind me. Always a pep talk, isn't it? Uh, fuck. Word of encouragement. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. I'm Wait. sorry that I can't. <laughs> <any noise. laughs> He's like. 30. Maybe I'll just leave you with the advice that my dad gave to me. <laughs> oh my on my god. Birthday. Back in 19... Keep your head down. <laughs> Don't take unnecessary risks. Stay out of debt. Did you even Jeez. listen? No. I did Come not. Come on, baby. Don't <laughs> me now. Give me that Derek Lovin'. Yes! 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 Jesus. Where's the robot? What the fuck is this? How come he could type all the time? He was pecking at his keyboard at his other job. I think that's gonna be the... Okay. I think you're having way too ridiculous. <laughs> right, Derek? What the hell? Is that a nerf? Yeah. Y'all get it. <laughs> God damn it. On, Let's have a catch up. Oh shit. He is the boss. God damn it. I think the boss needs to lay off the crack. What? This is not going to be right. Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Maybe Boss. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? Yeah. It's very, um... Dense. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit. And then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... <laughs> blew that bugger's chin <laughs> clean off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my favourite bit too. 
Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really outstanding. But the publishers over the next month. Surprise visit. You know how these things go. Sounds exciting. It'll be a shit show. Mm. I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. You mean work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. We'll keep any seven-day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Yeah, if you could go ahead and come in on Saturday. <laughs> it's basically what he just said. Hang on. There's no way I'm working weekends for a silly computer game. <clears throat> Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. I'll set an example, all right? Bloody cheek. Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together. To show some passion. Yeah, well, how about I show you something else? Oh, God. Well, he's fired. <laughs> How'd work go? Uh, yeah, you see. Hey, Dad. I don't need you oh. anymore. Hey, John. <laughs> yeah, boy. Go straight for the liquor. <laughs> Jack's got something to tell you. Uh-oh. Yeah, now, now, before I go into details, it's important you know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. Jack got fired. <laughs> what? No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, <laughs> don't tell your dad that. Okay, well, well, maybe I had to get a little bit <laughs> Told you. Between you and me, I think that Clive fella overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. Oh, God. This is a disaster. It's all good. We still got my job, and no offence, but it pays better too. I saw your pay slip. No. Okay. Here's the thing. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everything okay? Something go wrong? Fucking kids. Fancy a beer? Shot of tequila, maybe. <laughs> Wait. What? You got fired as well? The eventful day, right? This is not happening. What a nightmare. Oh. oh, but it was all gravy when you lost my job. Do you two need some drugs? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm going to demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? I want two slices. Hey, that's my figure you're ruining there. <laughs> yeah. I'll have a quarter. <laughs> a quarter? You'll get what's left, mate. <laughs> John eat cheesecake again, so. <laughs> oh, this is. Drama, drama, fun. Or wait, sorry. Drama, drama, fun as fucking hell. <laughs> the next station is Platt Square. Oh, what time is Previously, it anyway? It's only 10 30? Fuck yeah. Mom's not well. She's been having some tests and they've not come back great. We need to sort out what we're doing here long term. What if we let you go? Right now, I'm happy where I am. Why do you care about Becky asking me out? Is that why you're upset? Just give me a hug, yeah? Will you stay with me tonight? Why are the angels so mad? I don't know. Also, is he even a fucking angel or is he gonna pull like just like the adjustment bureau where it's just like I'm not saying yes, but yes. What's with that night get up? How old are you? Eight? Oh god. Only a little bit very extremely creepy. He's jelly file. <laughs> Hey, get up and wait outside. Okay. 
Right, Bo? He knows what? Shall we wear the same thing? No, let's put that green jacket on. Oh. Ripped jeans, fuck off. Hey, haven't seen you in a while. Could we talk? I wanted to catch you in fear while we're all together. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh yeah, how was Moise's party? It was okay. Got a bit druggy in the end. You go alone? You hear about Moise and Tina going at it on his dad's car? Mental. What? <laughs> Everyone's getting some action at the moment. What's Shit. that mean? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Oof. Whatever. Ah, oh, look at you two. Bunking again. What, have you dropped out or something? Yeah, what are you both doing? Bet you think you're both so cool. Uh, fuck off. No, not really. Could never be as cool as you two. Right, Becky? <laughs> Shut up, Donna. It's complicated. Yeah, looks it. Come on, Mary. Let's leave these wasters to it. Can you believe those two? Leave it. I've had just about enough of all of this. Uh, we all have, not just you. Oh, shut up. Let's just get some food and go. Still hate that sign. God, Father, <laughs> fuck you. That was, that was, what's his name? Fuck. Yeah. Piss off. Man, I've been waiting for her to get hit by a car all this time. Almost. Oi, Viv! What the hell are you doing? Break the glass, woman. The girl. I don't, how old is he? I don't even know. And also, he's off on the eyeliner. Damn. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? I... You, you saw that, right? Are you alright? I can't think. Right. Well, if you want to stay and bang on this door... I could have sworn there was... We're going, or what? Oh, yeah. So now, he's just disappeared from existence. And no one's questioning it. Let me guess, the end son's gonna disappear. Yep. yep. I fucking knew it. Any other doors you want to knock on on the way? I'm you sure really didn't see the stranger go into his house. You're actually weirder than I thought. Weren't you going to get some chips or something? Maybe stick your head in a deep fat fryer while you're at it. Fuck Funny. you. Funny. It was closed anyway. <laughs> you know what I think? I think you've got a thing for that stranger. What? Oh, shut up. I've seen that little twinkly you get in your eye when you look at him. I bet you wanted to get into his house, look through his dirty laundry, sniff his pan. What oh, the you're fuck? Sick. You know that. <laughs> this coming from you, the weirdest girl in school. Don't be an asshole your entire life. Ooh, you're hard. You know, for someone who's got a potential assault charge hanging over their head, you're awfully irritating. I'm irritating. You should listen to some of the shit that comes out of your mouth. You're walking in the street. You don't know why I bother hanging out with you. You're just upset because you weren't invited to Moise's house party. Does it look like I care? Can I? Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe it. He's right where we left him. No, we, well, did they, um... I don't get it. Who was meant to be guarding him? You were. Wait, that doesn't make sense. You are truly losing it. 
Well, if I was supposed to be guarding him, why didn't you say something earlier? This is stupid and a complete waste of time. We're guarding a moron who can't even speak and we're worried that he can dob us into the police. I'm out of here. Wait, he can speak. Stereo McStareface, <laughs> say something. <laughs> this is embarrassing. You can look after your imaginary friend on your own from now on. Wait, what? I'm bored. And I'm done. Later. Great. Well, piss off then. Thanks for helping me out back there. Oh, so you're not talking to me anymore either? Would you mind doing me a favor? There's something down in the basement of this building that I would like you to take a look at. What? The door over there is open. If you wouldn't mind. I do mind. All right, but don't get used to ordering me around like this. He literally can control everything, so fuck off, girl. And yeah, don't 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 turn on any lights or anything, you know. It's all good, people. It's all good. I think the electrics are off. Oh. I can't see shit down here. What the? That was weird. Why is she tiptoeing? Uh oh. Stop doing that! Don't do it! Too late. I'm not controlling anything, so. picture on her phone? Interesting. What's the deal? Nothing down there but some rats. I'm interested to know what these voice actors are because a few voices I've heard so far sound My familiar. My mistake. Donna. Let me ask you a question. Do you still have that photograph you took of me? What's that got to do with anything? I haven't got time for this. Why? You know why. Mum's ill. I need to be spending time with her and helping Emma out around the house more. You need to be here. Why? No. Come on, what are we it's doing here? Trip. This has gone on long enough. Why don't you just go? Here, I'll untie you. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Is that a threat? Donna, don't pretend you don't want to be here. I know you. I've got to go. Hello? Mum? Uh oh. Anyone about? Not good. Don Adelaide here. Yeah? Miss Adelaide here. It's Longmead Hospital. We need you to come in. Fuck. What's wrong? It's your mum. I'm afraid it's serious. How soon can you get Fuck. here? Fuck. <sighs> Not quite, Bile. Definitely an interesting game. Previously on Last Stop. When is not this? Give me another shot. We're going to do another round of interviews. Just the two of you. Well, I've never been so embarrassed. Is this where I can expect the big lecture on why I'm such a bad parent? No, you're not a bad parent, Mina. You just feel like you'd rather be somewhere else. I can't do this again. I'm married. It's not right. So is that it? That's it. I want to know more about her job. I don't give a fuck about the affair. <laughs> okay. 
I'm genuinely curious how long this game is because I want to go in for the long run. <laughs> Miss Hughes, we've been over the data gathered from our previous examination and we've called you back in as we want a little more clarity on a certain issue. Uh -oh. It's important that you answer honestly as we need to calibrate our expectations. Uh oh. She's not paying attention. Not good. I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown up girl. I like your wedding ring, by the way. No, please. Mm. Okay, she's just dreaming. Uh, sorry? Well, does it? Lost nowhere in mind, did she? Yes. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Shit. Right. Well, as always, we thank you for your time. Uh oh. Don't you want to ask me another question? That's not necessary. I believe we have what we need. Good day, Miss Hughes. <laughs> Fuck! I think uh, no matter what you answer, that'll. Yeah, no matter what, Hughes, that'll. Join us. Mina, you've just had your second exam. How'd it go? Not well. Fine. I was just telling Amy how impressed I was with her results. Fuck. Seriously stellar work. Oh, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. we well, I doubt you could actually, actually find it. Uh... Game came out today. That's me. I gotta run. Amy. Yes. Best of luck, Mina. I can't believe I'm up against a legend like you. Now cut the crap. If you want this, then don't try and be my friend. We're enemies in this. Act like one. Okay. <clears throat> I'm playing this like I've got nothing to lose. So back off. You're the one who's fucking up, honey. Almost literally. Oh, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Just fucking go in. Oh, hi. I thought we weren't doing this anymore. I need to talk to you. The other day, I got left a note on my front doorstep. A threatening note. Someone knows about us and is trying to use it against me. Someone's blackmailing you. So that's why you ended this. No, it was after. No, this was after that. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, we need to take it to the police. I told you not to tell Wendy about us. <laughs> Are you kidding me? My daughter isn't a blackmailer. Well, who else could it be? Who else would know? I just need to talk to her. <sighs> well, there's no way I'm letting you accuse her of something like that. I, I think you should leave. Just tell me where I can find her. We'll have a friendly chat and, and I'll blow her brains out all over the subway. Can you hear yourself? I'm done with this. Stay away from my daughter, okay? Ugh. Dodged a bullet there, Felix. Mm. <laughs> it's not like I'm having homicidal thoughts or anything. Definitely not. I don't know what you. Wait, what? Fuck you! This chick, Mina. <laughs> I take insult because he kept saying how much he is like me. <laughs> but you're also right. So. 
She said you're going to be home at seven. Not even a text. This isn't good, Mina. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know how many times I can keep putting up with the same excuses. It's, it's, it's boring. Well, it's the truth. It's like you don't care. Maybe I don't. <laughs> what can I say for you to drop it? I'm not in the mood, Dan. You're never in the mood, no, are but... you? You're always somewhere else, even when you are here. It's like I'm married to a bloody answer machine. Have you finished? Yes. Your dinner's in the oven. It'll be cold by now. Cool, thanks. Yum. Oh, fine. Well, I won't bother cooking for you next time in that case. Sounds good to me. It just said oh, I was you hungry. Can piss off. Wanker! What the hell is wrong with you? A lot. A lot, lot. She doesn't have an angel bothering her or switching bodies with anyone. She's just a fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> she tells all this to herself. Right? At least everyone else has got like supernatural bullshit going on. She's just a dyke. The next station is Plaid Square. Oy. Previously on Last Stop. The only way this is gonna work is if we imitate each other exactly. How come you're hanging out with fucking right blokes? Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. I'll show you what you can do with your passion. Jack got fired. What the hell are we gonna do now? Everything I can. Here's the thing. Mm. You got fired as well! <laughs> eventful day, right? Fool's errand. All right, all right. Why don't you just go to the doctor? What? Well, Molly's got a point, John. I mean, we can't be the first case of something like this. What? Are you sure about that? You're not putting mustard on that, are you? You've got Jack's allergies now, Dad. Right. No banana, no, no, no celery, no mustard. Molly, do your own work. Sorry, mate. It's a lot of allergies. Which one comes after Amberlynn? What? These must be queens or something. I have no idea. Um... Catherine Howard. Catherine Hepburn. It can't hurt to go to the GP <laughs> about this. You're both wrong. <laughs> Maybe there's other people we could see as well. You know, people who specialise in the mind. Mm. Like a brain surgeon. No. I was, I was going to say, how about a shrink? Yeah, or a psychologist or something. Like that shop near the tube station. No. Uh, that's psychic love, not not psychology. They're different. Hang on, though. Molly might be onto something there. Yeah, I might be onto something. <laughs> desperate times yeah, demand desperate, desperate measures. We shouldn't be closed mm. off to any potential situation. Okay, fine. But if this flat ends up being decorated with healing crystals and <laughs> scented candles, I'm going to be pretty miffed. Miffed. It says Abilene. Was beheaded f for fornication. What's fornication? <laughs> uh, that's one for you, I think, Jack. Yeah. Fornication. Well, it's some. It's, uh, does anyone want anything from the shop? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Molly's a smart one of the girls. See you tonight, yeah, Mom. With any luck, we'll be back in our own bodies by dinner time. Bye, Dad. See you later, Jack. So, I've got a list. Uh, we've got an appointment with your GP, Dr. Ajibola, and then we're seeing that therapist I found online. Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah. Yeah, we are going to have our auras read too. I hadn't forgotten. You know, there is one good thing that you got going for you. Go on. I love the way you say bastard. He's got a nice tombra. Bastard. <laughs> Great. Go on, let, let's see you say it for comparison. Are we really doing this? Okay, fine. Bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a bit thin. Sorry. 
I just realized they also inherited each other's accents. You think that wouldn't have happened? John, what good to I see know? you. And who is this? Oh, oh, hello, Doctor. This is my cousin Jack. Pleased to meet you, Jack. So, how can I help you both? Oh How's shit! Your heart, John? My heart. There's nothing it's wrong with my heart, is there? Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's not that. It's a bit of a delicate matter. Don't worry. There isn't much you could say which could shock me at this point. <laughs> I wouldn't be too sure about that. <laughs> It's something that's affected us both. How do I put this? Um, we've not really been feeling ourselves. Oh, God. And the symptoms started at roughly the same time. You could say that. You'll have to give me a bit more to work with. Oh, God. They're going to go down a uh, road okay. that I hope they don't go down. Let's try something different. Hypothetically speaking, would it be possible to inhabit another person's body? And how might one reverse said hypothetical action, hypothetically speaking? <laughs> if you two are on something, I'm afraid the best thing you can do is go home. <laughs> right, I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm actually Jack and he's John. Somehow we've swapped bodies and we want to swap back. Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. Oh, God. So there's nothing you can do for us? John, come back in two months as we agreed for your regular checkup. Jack, it was nice to meet you. Well, that worked well. well. Looks like I'm gonna have to find a new GP. Mm. Okay, burn that bridge. What's next on the list? Ah, that's get hit by a car. Oh, should be interesting. Psychologist? Did he say, or I didn't hear? What did the doctor mean when he brought up that thing about your heart? Have you been ill? Well. I had a mild heart attack a few months back. Mild heart attack. I mean, it sounds worse than it is. I've just spent a couple of days in hospital, and now I just have to watch my cholesterol. Pretty normal, really. It's, it's nothing that serious. Jesus, John, that's about as serious as it gets. <laughs> Pretty much. I try not to think of it like that. Right, well, look, no more junk food from now on. I'll cook tonight. Now, you haven't seen me in the kitchen, have you? I mean, you know, I don't want to brag, but I'm... Like a culinary wizard. Can't mm. the credit. It's the French jeans. Mm. You're part French. Well, let's see, I'm half in. The French are known for adding too much butter and wine to their cooking. Not really what John needs right now. <laughs> Which quarter Scottish, a third Irish, and an eighth French. An eighth? Oh, yeah. I think you said psychologist. Hello. You're also, both related. Thanks for still being right? here, guys. Yeah, we're cousins. Okay. Well, nice to meet you both. Before we get started, I'd like to go through the different options we have available today. Okay? Sure. So <laughs> my family bad, therapy really. package starts at £250 per hour. Well, you know where we're going next, don't you? <laughs> Didn't even give you time to make a funny, just out. <laughs> oh god. Alright, lads. Can I help with anything? Probably Actually, not. Yeah. I don't know why you're looking at me. This is your thing. Alright, listen. Uh, <laughs> sorry, what's your name? Ron. Right, listen, Ron. We have got a little bit of an odd one here, but by the looks of this place, maybe it's right up your street. I'm listening. Okay, so the long and the short of it, well, <laughs> we've swapped bodies. Me and him. My next door neighbour. It's true. Well, technically he lives across the road. Ever heard of anything like this before? Body swapping. Okay, he thinks we're mental. That's perfect! <laughs> huh? I've read so much about this. You've seen this before? Oh yeah, absolutely! <laughs> You having us on? Come on, come to my office. Let's see if we can sort this out. Well, all right. How much money can I make yeah, off this? Is what down, I'll be with you in a moment. Pretty much vile, Jesus. Oh, let me just Google real quick. So you've had other people coming here with this same problem before? Uh huh. Mm. Must be more common than we thought. 
Oh, yeah. The world's definitely not what you think, lads, let me tell you. He's so blogging, isn't he? What's next, then? How's this all work? Like, you must have heard about the secret alien portals that are buried under London. Oh, God. No. Look, is there some sort of medicine we can take, or...? Ah, oh, mate, you should look it up. Seriously. Everyone knows about it. It's not even a conspiracy at this stage. Oh, God. Are we sure about this guy? One second, lads. I'm almost ready. He's blogging. He's fucking blogging. <laughs> okay. For God's sake! Alright! And welcome back to another episode of Behind the Curtain, brought to you by Harvey's Razors, the closest killer shaver man can get. Oh my fucking now, god. Before we get into today's topic, remember gonna be on to share Twitch. this video with your friends and smash that like button. Mitch. Okay. So today we have two special guests who are here to talk You're about making us look bad, buddy. Of how they <laughs> swapped brains. Jack, John, why don't you introduce yourselves? Okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> What's everyone we have booked in? Joker We're going to have to think okay, really hard about the next approach is, Jack. I'm kind of running out of ideas. I've got one. Alright, go on. Up. <laughs> <laughs> like the way you think, Jack. Did you see the posters in that place? Oh dear. Well, we're just gonna have to keep trying, won't we? Yeah. You know, I can't actually remember the last time I went to the pub. Piss off. Don't believe you. You're like the kind of guy who was born in a pub. Oh, fuck you. Grew up playing the fruit machines, blindfolded, whilst eating pork scratchings, downing warm ale. <laughs> yeah, well, let me guess. You grew up in, uh, in cocktail bars, didn't you? Oh, he's scoffing sushi. You can do all that stuff when you're younger. When you're a single dad like me, it gets a little bit more difficult. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. That makes sense. <laughs> hey. Can I ask you a question? No. Let's hear it. I mean, not that this is any of my business or anything, but... Where's Molly's mum? Oof. You never mentioned her. I'll have to get a few more beers down me before we go into all of that. <laughs> okay. Hey, look. I've got a piano here. You play? You do. Do I play? Oh, okay. shit. I can see you playing this. You just join in when you want. What is it? I don't know. Just making it up as I go along. Come on, you play the top line, man. Just, just make something up. Yeah, well, I hope we're not pissing everyone off in here. No, no, that's why it's here. Come on. Come on, you got an audience now. Just, just play something. Fine, okay. I'm a little bit rusty. Playing okay, guitar here, on. everyone. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> This is simple so far. So they both know how to play piano, apparently. Yes, sir. Pretty simple, I mean. Hey, Matt's back. What's up, Matt? Not bad, honestly. And bam, copyright for dark. <laughs> Wait, did we meet Molly's mom? No, we didn't. That was awesome. 
You're great at the piano, mate. Absolute legend. Magic, obviously. Surprise. The song it's surprised the you. Oh, jeez. Cheers. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Come over to my place a moment, yeah? Uh oh. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. We should just uh, just check and see if any of your posters got delivered by mistake. Yeah. Sorry if I missed any chat. Uh, I'll check it in a second. But, you know, real-time events, so... Oh, well, I can check it now. Nope, didn't. <laughs> oh, cheese file. What's this? A bank statement? I'm cleaned out. What? The deb uh, Dumb ass kid. gonna pay for this place without any cash. Without a job. How do you not have any savings? Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe there's something we can do. How much is rent on this place anyway? I don't want to hear this. Two thousand a month. Could crowdsource it, I suppose. Jesus. For this one bed place. Well, I guess there's only one thing for it. How long are these boxes going to be <clears> here? <throat> Until I can afford to put them in storage. That's all right, isn't it? Can I look for your stuff? No. No. <laughs> Jack can't afford his place. And soon we won't be able to pay any of the bills here, love. It can't be ignored any longer. Never played it. Nope. You need a bit of money coming in. Yeah, no offence, but I'm never going to get another games job if I have to use your CV. 25 years working in the same office. Who'd hire me? Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Yeah, Shazzy was saying they haven't found anyone to cover your casework. Yeah, why not? Apply for my old job as Jack. I'll let you write the cover letter. Give it a bit of pen air. You're going to have to sort your look out, Dad. No one's going to hide you file. just like that. Money's right. Got to get you spruced up and all dapper. 90% of acing and interviews all about wearing a sharp suit. Shit. I was waiting for him to do that. As when I saw him put it down. Is he ironing a t-shirt? Shit. Who the fuck irons a t-shirt? <sighs> Confessions of a kidnapper. This should be interesting. Previously on Last Stop. Oi, Viv! What the hell are you doing? Are you alright? I don't get it. Who was meant to be guarding him? You were. You are truly losing it. Donna, don't pretend you don't want to be here. A new virus. I need to be spending time with her. It's your mom. How soon can you get here? I love that my view count goes down to like six and now it's back up to 14. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. Right, drama again. I need to stretch my legs. Do you want anything from the machine? No. I just can't believe this. How does something like this happen? She was fine the other day. No, she, she wasn't. She hasn't been well, Donna. Yeah, but nothing serious like this. Seriously, what the fuck? Are you two Miss Adelaki's daughters? Yeah, that's right. How is she? Dead. She's resting now, but she is stable. So she's going she to too much ice cream. We'll know more when we get the test results back, but that won't be until tomorrow. In the meantime, the doctor has requested that we postpone any visitors until tomorrow, just so she can get her strength. What if she doesn't make it till morning? Hey, calm down. Let's go, okay? Fine. Oh, jeez. 
You tell me that's fine, she's got a breather. The more I itch my nose and my eyes, the more itchy they get. Don't be afraid, negative Nancy. Turn on the radio, pretend like it's not happening. Seriously. Mum didn't want you to know. That's why. I thought you should, and I tried to tell you, but I just wasn't very good at it. I'm sorry, Donna. It's bad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I've just been such a little shitbag. Oh, damn it, that's... I, no I thought... About all I, I misrated the I'm sorry, prompt. Then. It's okay. She'll be all right. <laughs> uh. And there's me pissing about with that stupid man whilst all this is going oh, on. Oh, shit. What man? Oh, shit. It happened mm. a few weeks ago, but it's fine. I know him now. He won't go to the police. Shut up! What are you talking about? I shouldn't, have done, that. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that, but I did it. <sighs> I think I've made a terrible mistake. It's okay. Donna, listen to me. I need you to tell me exactly what's happened. Sister's gonna disappear next. <laughs> okay. I'll show you. So go over it again. One night, on the way home from netball practice, I realized someone was following me. A strange man. And he attacked you? Yeah. And you ended up in the swimming pool? Well, yeah. He ran away. He stole my phone. And that's where you tied him up? Sure. Yeah, you know, citizen's arrest. So stupid. You could have got yourself killed. Why didn't you call me straight away? And get a bollocking? <laughs> no thanks. You should have told me, Donna. File. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm supposed to be walking. Um, what is it? I lied earlier. He didn't steal my phone. Why well, tell her the truth? Oh, I guess we're going around. Broke in. And that's when he attacked. Hold up. Are we not going to address that? This is an abandoned building, but it still has a full, clean pool. Yeah. The other way around. You attacked him. Shit, Donna, that's assault. GBH. It was self-defense. I thought he was an alien. The hell is GBH this is getting for? ridiculous. Where, where are we? Oh, we're in the corner, okay. That's a big building, too. What was it, like a church, I guess? Stay here. I need to see what you've done. I'll come with you. He only speaks to me. How am I gonna explain this to the Sarge? You're not. Wait. You're not going to report this, are you? I'm a police constable. I can't just cover this up like in some movie. What did you think I was going to do? What the hell are you doing? You'd sell out your own sister to protect your job. What about Mum? She can't deal with this now. Wait here. What are you doing? Oh, fuck Get you, off sis. Of me. I love how she... Just, just casually her let her do that. Come back, Emma, please. Casually, didn't even fight back, none. Of course that's loose. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, right. Emma! Bye. 
That's not weird. You made it all up. Why? Clearly. I don't know. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Every time I see that ponytail of hers, I think it needs to the guy. I hands. I need my handcuffs back. I know you're mad, but can we talk about this? Stay still. Well, on the bright side, at least you don't need to worry about visiting your sister in prison. You bitch. Do you not get it? Mum's dying. And we're out here playing one of your games. Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. I think there's something wrong with me. The problem is, Donna, I don't think I can believe anything you say. <laughs> right, Vile? Yeah, what? Is there anything I can do to make this right? I'm going to be at the hospital. Join me if you want. I don't care anymore. He's gonna be right there. Yep. This angel's a dick. <laughs> and he's back again. What's happened, Donna? Who are you? I'm your friend, Sterry McStairface. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm so tired of coming to this place. I miss school. I miss my friends. It just feels like my life is all of a sudden. So, so just kick him into the pool. Shit. Just... What do you mean? Happy man. Mm. Happy man. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Something feels weird. Empty. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can't stay here anymore. This has run its course. You're free to go. This is about your mother. No, this is about you getting rid of everything yeah, in my life. So. She's dying. In fact, she's almost gone. Yeah, and that's why I'm done with this. Goodbye. If you want my help, you only have to ask. Ugh, whatever. This is just another one of your games. What do you have to lose? Ask me. What a dick. Why are you getting rid of all of my friends <laughs> and anybody who even remotely came into, you know, discovering? I don't know. Ooh, that's a creepy face. She gone. Yep. She never existed. Oh. Fucking A. I, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. I'm gonna go grab uh, some more water, guys. Be right back. All right, sorry about that. Just want some more water. What's up, Peach? Was she spirited away? I don't know, because he did the same thing to... Apparently, the fiancé... Her sister's fiancé... Their friend, Vic... V, 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 whatever the fuck his weird-ass name is. And now... Her mom. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And they all disappeared from this. And, like, when she wakes up the next morning, it's just, like, it never, they were never there. Everyone, just, like, it never happened. He's basically changing history, I guess. 
Why? Just why? I don't know. The next station is Platt Square. Previously on Last Stop. You've just and had your second exam. This girl, How'd it this go? girl's just fucked. My daughter isn't a blackmailer. We just had a chat with her. Stay away from my daughter. I don't know how many times I can keep putting up with the same excuses. It's like you don't care. Wanker! What the hell is wrong with you? A lot. What we got now? What's the gold? What's the gold? I didn't read it. Unfinished business. Oh yeah. Wait. Oh, that was Dan. Okay. Stop bothering me. I'm at work. Felix, please. I'm just so scared. I just need to talk to you. <sighs> Prick. Maybe it's Spider. Maybe he had her followed or something. Didn't think of that. Black suit again, sorry. I do. How come you <laughs> really sadic today? And not die. Oh. Well, I just thought it'd be nice for a change. Spend some time with you. Dad's okay though. Yeah. Of course. Why'd you ask? Oh, I don't know. Is everything okay? Yeah. You sure? I don't know. Jeez, kid. What? Oh, jeez. I forgot about this. Boarding my gaze, looks nervous, hiding something has to be... Knows about the affair. He's on to me! Nah, you're just getting paranoid, girl. Okay, let's have it. What's on your mind? Are you leaving Dad? It what? Where did that come from? No, I'm not leaving Dad. I heard you both arguing last night and throwing things at each other. Is that why you're taking me to school today and not Dad? Because you're making him leave. No. Dylan, that's ridiculous. What gave you that idea? Parents fight sometimes, but we still love each other. But you two fight all the time, and you're hardly ever home. So I thought maybe you didn't like being with us anymore. Okay, stop. This has nothing to do <laughs> with you, okay? Awesome. You don't need to worry about this. Okay. Listen, Dylan, I've got to run. I've got an appointment before work. You're not ill, are you? No, nothing like that. Just catching up with an old friend. To let? What does that mean? I was more focused. Fo focus. Focus on the sign. What the fuck does to let mean? To rent. Really? To, yeah, we we use the same here. If you, it's to let something, to rent something. Okay then. Fucking weirdos. <laughs> You stalking me now? Yep. Can we just talk for a second? Dad told me what you accused me of. Pathetic. So it wasn't you? You're a mother. And you've got what, a little boy? Stay away from my dad. He doesn't need you. I'm the one who left. Okay, forget about that. That's done. Now, it's very important that I hear that you admit that you sent that note. I can't believe you. Leave me alone. This is your final chance. Did you send the note? Are you threatening me? Yes. I didn't send the damn note. You need to get your act together. Sort your life out and leave us alone. I'm trying to. You don't get that point, I guess. <laughs> Holy shit, she can run. Like a pansy, just like everyone else in this game. Okay. 
Okay, apparently we're going up some steps now. Not really sure where we're going. Let's, on us. Is that her apartment? Dad? Oh. Dad, are you alright? Shit. Huh? Oh, it's you. What the hell's happened here? The door. Happened last week. Had a break in. Punk kids, no doubt. You'd have noticed if you bothered to visit. I'm away for one week and I come back to this? Why haven't you fixed the front door? Oh, no need to lock the doors in this neighborhood. Dad, I'm not even going to respond to that. What got stolen? Have you filed a police report? Just my medicine, and absolutely not. Don't want the fuzz sniffing around here. What medicine? My brain medicine. Yeah. You know the, the special pillars from Spider? No, God. I thought I told you to throw them away. Ah. Come on, let's clean this place up. I don't want people thinking my dad lives in a squat. Wait, it was Meaning. a week ago. Make sure you put those books on the shelf in the correct order. I've categorized them by subject. Bottom shelf is travel, middle shelf is politics and history, and the top shelf is arts and entertainment. Take care with them, will you? Some of those books are older than you, you know. Yeah, when I say books, I don't mean any of those pseudo-electric books that your generation <laughs> read on the phone. These are proper paper and ink. Seriously. Every time I go on the computer, the library like is choice to in a download a book. Music. I say to Margaret, the librarian, look, I'm in the bloody library. What's all this about downloading books? I'm telling you, Nini, you've all gone mad. And don't get me started on audio books. What am I, a child? Mm. I'll read my own damn books, thank you very much. <laughs> audio books. You know. Ugh, Dad, seriously. Oh, it's nothing to be embarrassed about, the Kama child. Sutra. You know your mother. Oh. And I, I don't want to know. Put that one on the top shelf, Nini. Oh, Jesus. Left a bit. All right, a bit. Left a bit. Right a bit. We've been at this for ten minutes. You sure this isn't straight? Bitch, well, do it yourself. <laughs> but, oh my god. Nothing's built to last anymore. People buy cheap, and when it's slightly damaged, they throw it away and buy Wait. a new one. But even worse, I... oh, they okay. throw it away because they're bored of it. Can you believe it? How much wasted stuff there must be in London alone. You know, there used to be a phrase. I can't afford to buy cheap. Things were built to last, of course, back then. And don't get me started on the amount we waste on food in our supermarkets. The mountains of food that's thrown away every day. It's a disgrace. And all that pollution, just so you can have an avocado on toast. It's disgusting. People look back on what they're doing now and physically vomit. In my day... You had your strawberries in the summer and your Brussels sprouts in the winter. And they were all grown mm. here. Oh, Fire. but people complain, don't they? I want my strawberries in December. Look at the packaging. Shipped in California. My damn monitor. Most likely on a jumbo jet, I shouldn't wonder. All because you simply cannot do without strawberries Get in December. Go. I don't even like strawberries. That's beside the point, Nini. World's Mostly, greatest dad, of course. Blowing coming along. Yeah, not too bad. Luckily, they're not smashed into tiny pieces. Well, ah, great, dad, that's because cool. they're good quality <laughs> crockery. Had them for years. Daughter's awesome. I, I don't know, know what you're talking about. That's why you've made me fix them. It's not. What is it that they say? Tidy house, count. tidy <laughs> mind. There's nothing wrong with my mind. She's today. awesome. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Oh, Better call yeah. Spider and get <laughs> some more of those pills. <laughs> I can't believe you. Are you still in contact with Spider? Of course. He was around here the other week. Good boy, that Spider. Plays mm. it tough, but he's, uh, he's fighting the good fight. Mm. 
I told him my daughter's a fascist, always meddling in my business. Oh, you fucking idiot. You told Spider about me. Did you get in contact with him in the end? Uh, you would benefit from the extra perspective. Right. Listen, Dad, I've got to go. Make sure you sort that door out. Please. It's important. Yes, you yes, fucking child. idiot. <laughs> Time to go, Postal. Spider. Not just yet. Why not? Why wait? She's gonna lose it anyway. Ain't the fifties. Her hair's fine. Jesus. Run, woman, run. She's not even being sneaky, just... <laughs> Jesus, I've been at this game for four and a half hours. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Is she about to get jumped or something? Because that'd be fucking great. Oh, the game is awesome. Oi, spider. Too much of a coward to come after me. You have to go after my elderly dad instead. Look who it is. Come to return my driving license, or are you after my library card this time? It's roughly a five hour. Smashing my dad's place up. That was a mistake. I guess we're finishing it then. Harsh words. Tell you what, give me back my license and we'll forget the whole thing. And that blackmail note was obviously you as well, wasn't it? Such an idiot. I probably wouldn't have made the connection if you hadn't sent that. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, what note? Oh shit. <laughs> I'm taking you to the police. They can deal with you. What did you mean about a note? I didn't write any note. You're coming with me even if I have to knock you out and drag you. This is a setup. You're trying to pin something on me. You're fucking kidding me, right? You've got a gun. Came prepared this time, didn't I? Well, you are full of surprises. Come on, why don't you just put it down? You're not a killer. I know I'm a screw-up. I bust into your dad's place. Fair cop, you got me. But I'm not taking the fall for any made-up notes or anything. Okay, Spider. Statistically, when a person with a nervous disposition is pointing a loaded gun, it tends to go off. <laughs> so why don't you just lower it for a bit? It is lower, you dumbass. Just trying to make something of myself. I'm trying to get my fair share. But someone's always there to kick the legs out from under you. I'm just trying to do my best, you feel me? No. In fairness, you're not the one being threatened with a gun. You don't know nothing. I had it all laid out, I had a plan. To fuck up my dad? <laughs> Everyone's got a plan. You do whatever your superiors tell you to do and things still go off the rails. You what? The amount <laughs> I sacrificed for this. 
all that stupid shit other people care about, but it's still not enough to get what you want. And what do I see for my efforts? A blackmail note on my doorstep. If you're being blackmailed, I ain't the one doing the blackmailing. I believe you. I'm sorry I broke into your dad's place. That, that was low. Yeah, it was. But I forgive you. Let's just leave each other well alone. You can have your license back. I'm all for that. You're a crazy woman. Put the gun down. Drop it now. Amy? Uh oh. What is this? You were playing me. Back away, Mina. I've got this. What the fuck? What the hell are you doing here, Amy? Don't you were just keeping me talking until backup arrived. Drop the weapon immediately. I won't ask again. Have you been following me? I'm not going to go to prison for something I didn't do. Please, both of you. We can figure this out without the firearms. Drop the gun this instant. Bitch, you drop the gun. Amy's going to die. Drop it. You drop it. Drop the gun. Both of you. Calm the hell down. Told you. Oh, shit. They both. Okay, he dropped instantly. She didn't. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe not. Left long, no exit. Yeah, that's not gonna help a punch <laughs> lung. Crap, this really hurts. <laughs> you don't say. Jesus, that's a lot of blood. Oh god, it's bad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> what about the other guy? Did I get him? I don't know. He isn't moving. What are you doing here, Amy? Oh, it's so bad. Okay, I'm gonna call for help. Yeah, that might be true, Buster. You didn't think about that. Okay, that makes sense. You sent the note. I need to go to hospital. It was you all along. You've been spying on me. What else have you got on me? I'm dying, Nina. Mm -hmm. Are they copies? Come on, what have you got on me? Please. Give me the key to your flat, and I'll call an ambulance. Dead. Yep, I, I knew that was gonna happen. Well, I guess she got the job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck her anyway. The next station is Cobbett Square. Previously on Last Stop. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Why don't you just go to the doctor? Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. We're gonna have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. I mean, that's what I was thinking, Josh. My heart? I had a mild heart attack a few months back. What's this? I'm cleaned out. How am I gonna pay for this place without any cash? One of us needs to get a job. Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? So the moral of her story is, uh, play dirty and you'll win. Got it. <laughs> it's hilarious, but yeah, she got the job back. I mean, yeah. Mm -mm. Vile. Mm. I mean... It's all wrinkly and not his size, but... Well, wish me luck. Remember, it doesn't matter that my CV says you got no experience. It's not about that at this stage. As long as they like you, you'll be fine. You got this. Trust me, I have interviewed a hundred people before. Don't forget to tuck your shirt in. Own the room. Beat the pack alpha. <clears throat> Tournament so your breath isn't gross. <clears throat> I want to go back to bed. You can sleep when you're dead. Go get them. Hey. Bring home the bacon. 
Uh, if your jacket doesn't fit as badly, you know, as bad as his did, don't button it like that. Just don't button it. CVs? Pointless. All right, then. I don't think you can judge a man's character from a piece Stop. of paper. You agree? It's all about the one-on-one. -on -one. Man on man. Sure. I'll let you in on a secret. This job, easy. A monkey could do it. I'm after an individual. Someone that could fill my shoes in years to come. Well, I'm sure there's a bit more to it. You know, the problem with the public sector is that it's full of grey, dead weight. A board to me eyeballs, mate. A bunch of corpses everywhere. You looking for someone more like you? Yes, exactly. You a football man, Jackie boy? Of course nope. you are. Come on, who are you? I don't know any of these. Liverpool. Okay. Liverpool? <laughs> Top lads. Well, you'll Liverpool. never walk alone around here, mate. Although, don't expect to get much action around here. <laughs> we are lacking some serious talent. But you know what they say? Don't shit on your own doorstep. No, who says that? Yeah, and don't piss into the wind. I've got a bunch of other applicants to see today, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel them. When can you start? Yesterday. Get in! Bet he's dead inside. <laughs> Basically just said John was hey, a piece Dad, of shit. How's the interview? I need a drink. Sorry, what? Aced it. I'll start tomorrow. Woo -woo, no, I got that, Dad. Boston. Who's up for some celebratory takeaway? I think I'll have an early night. Congrats, etc. Where is he sleeping? <laughs> What's that with Jack? Who knows? Are you in the mood for spicy beef? Or barbecue chicken? Chicken! Was that the whole chapter? Please tell me it wasn't. Okay, good. They're back to normal now, aren't they? Dad! Nope. The couch? Well, he just left the couch. I know. You don't need to say it. I'm running late. How about you get dressed then, buddy? Or not. Wait, where... Where's Jack? Or John, dude. The other one. Jack's still asleep in the living room, so I couldn't watch TV this morning. When I went in there, he was snoring. Just like you used to, you know, really loudly. I guess oh. the snoring must have stayed in your old body. I wonder what else Jack has that used to be yours. Maybe he has your hand. This is way too upbeat. I feel like something really fucking bad's about to happen. And yeah, just have to say that. I'm writing. Do you remember when Mrs. Adelecki didn't believe that you signed my homework diary because she didn't think that that was written by an adult? It's going to be funny the next time we have parents' evening. Maybe I can say I have two dads. If Jack is going to sleep in the living room forever, maybe we should get one of those pull-out sofa beds? Please tell me he's not dead. Actually, Jack can have my room. <laughs> I'll sleep in the sofa. <laughs> that way I can watch TV yeah, all the that's... time. Yeah. Yeah, it's not letting me go that way. Shit. Forgot something? Um. Phone! I'll ring it. Yep. Oh no, he's breathing. Cool. Okay. Easy does it. What's you doing? Morning. Just needed my phone. Phew, thank God. <laughs> that would have really sucked. Brace ya. Dad! 
That <laughs> joke's on you, little girl. He can run now. Oh, he won. Too slow. <laughs> so no. Uh oh. I know about your predicament. Come see me, the vape lord. <laughs> the vape lord. <laughs> That's what we need. Another Twitch, uh, or streamer, or whatever. Jesus. <sighs> if I got a note and it was signed the vape lord, I would laugh and throw it into the air. <sighs> oh, where are we? Oh, there I am. The vape lord. Oh no, wait, wait. Oh no, it just says a vape shop. Okay, so. I thought maybe if, like, the vape lord was the name of the place, I'd be okay, but no. He's calling himself the vape lord. He's definitely calling himself Ye the vape lord. Ye olde vape shop. What? Fuck you. Established 2021. 20, right? <laughs> In business a whole month. What's up, Spring? All right. So I got a strange note through my door from someone called the Vape Lord? Is that you? Hello, yes, that was me. Which one am I talking to? You haven't swapped into someone else, have you? <clears throat> How'd you know about that? I heard you and that other fellow on that podcast, you know, behind the curtain. Of course you did. Good show, Jesus. that. Bit too many ads, but who am I to complain? Anyway, Frank has been searching everywhere for you. Who's right? Frank? What are you on about? You know, Frank, the guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago. He's my brother. A curse? He did this! Where is he? Switch us back! Firstly, let me say how sorry he was. Commuter rage. You know how it is. He was actually on his way out of here when you bumped into him. Bit of a whinger. Didn't much like Britain in the end, so he headed back to the old country. Dum Such a shame he left so soon. Did he say it was his brother? Or... Yeah, he did. But this dude's like Indian and the other I know. I was Look, thinking just the tell same me thing. where he is and I'll book a flight and meet him. But to be honest, mate, I was kind of hoping you'd take some e liquid as compensation or that'd be the end of it. No! Are you having a laugh? I want this sorted! If you really want to see him, I guess I've got no choice. <laughs> this is going to break the bank. Alright, listen. I'm gonna need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down and I'll give you a buzz. Yeah. Pasta! What? Pasta. She likes his new body, though. <laughs> Don't make a habit of being late like this. Sorry, you're right. I'll step it up. So how are you finding mucking in with us? Wasn't it a bit low to steal John's job? Sorry. He was happy for me to take it over some idiot that Clyde might have hired. I hope he's doing okay. I felt so upset for him when he got let go. He worked so hard here just to be discarded like that. Sometimes you get a second chance in life. You never know. Maybe. Credit card no, social security, right? <laughs> Don't want to keep your mate Clive waiting. I'd better get inside. What about me? Perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. Why don't we grab a drink sometime? You know, get acquainted. Are you asking me out? What? No, no, nothing like that. Just as friends. You're good. Ouch. I think we might need to do another one of our performance reviews. Do we have to talk about this now? Ooh, a bit defensive. 
We'll have to talk about how we can manage that temper of yours, won't oh, we? Fuck you. He's got a man bun too. Of course the dick has a man bun. Oh fuck this game. Can I punch him as uh Jack now? <laughs> Jackie boy, how's my star player doing? I was just telling this delectable beauty she's gonna have to up her game if she wants to keep pace with a trailblazer like you. Can I go to my desk, please? You get those emails, the Photoshop ones of you know who. Ha <laughs> ha! Have you been sharing doctored photos of me? Yeah, I got them. And classics, I'm sure you'll agree. Oh, they're Ooh. definitely memorable. I don't imagine HR will be forgetting them anytime soon. I figured they'd want to be another joke too. You sly kids. Mm. Betrayed by your own wingman, Clive. Oh, that's got to hurt. You're just having me on, right, Jack? Just to wind up? I guess you could say that you just shat on your own doorstep. Mm. Oh, bugger. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Hello, welcome to technical support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. <sighs> Here we go. These things never understand me. Oh, John never liked those things either. We're sorry to hear you're having difficulties. We'll transfer you to an operator. You are number one in the queue. I guess it's your lucky day. Sure. <laughs> His life's turning around. Oh, no. <laughs> and fuck that guy anyway. Seven minutes of your birthday, nice. Mm. <laughs> hey, Shaz. Hey. I'm heading home. Walk to the station. That stunt you pulled on Clive was great. You should have said you were going to stitch him up like that. I feel it's the sort of thing John always wanted to do, but couldn't. He's got it in him. He just likes to play it careful. Mm. Well, see you tomorrow. You're all right, you know. I can see that Smith family resemblance. Oh God. Tell John that I miss him, okay? That's what he gets, right? <laughs> Yeah, fucking Jack's life's ruined. John's life. <laughs> he just shaved off 15 years, got a new body, and, <coughs> and a promotion. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh. Dad, Jack's leaving us. Uh-oh. Yeah, all right, Molly. Now that you're sorted with the job and everything, I figured this would be a good time for me to move on. You know, try and get my life back on track. Um, you're still He's moving up north. You're still is legal. I applied for a uni course in Hull, computer a science. I've got the loans sorted and everything. It starts in September. <coughs> um. So I don't get a say in this. It's my body, and you're the legal guardian of Molly. Yeah, that's right. You have to stay. It's the law. It is. Yeah, it's your body, but it's my life. Have you once asked me about my problems? Oh, come on, kid. What about my mum and dad? My mates? I've lost all of them. We need to get real. Whatever this is that's happened to us, it's permanent. I need to get on with scraping together some sort of life for myself. I'm sorry, guys. You're wrong. Listen, I, I, I spoke to this guy. He says he can help us. He calls himself the vape lord or something. John, mate, listen to yourself. You're losing it. I get the whole parent thing. I understand that you're worried. But no offence, you lucked out on this deal. You got to be a young man again, but I've lost out on 20 years. That was 15. Just shut up for once and listen. This guy can reverse the effects. He knew all about us. Doesn't that interest you? He's playing a prank on you, you idiot. He's winding you up. He's pulling your string. You're about the guy at the I've fucking platform. How about you start so that? So unwilling to face the music. 
when you're having a bad run, sometimes you have to press reset. <coughs> Jesus, and you could try going to the gym occasionally. Dad, you're hurting him. Hey, just, just settle down. Something's wrong. Shit. Dad, do something. Help me. Jack. Dun, 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 dun. Jesus, more? <laughs> I'm loving it, but how many chapters are there? <laughs> Let's go. Previously on Last Stop. She's resting now, but she is stable. I think I've made a terrible mistake. Jesus Christ, Donna, that's kidnapped. Stay here. I need to see what you've done. You made it all up. I think you actually saved me by not being here a moment ago. If you want my help, you only have to ask. Fuck you. Mama's gone. Role reversal, huh? Oh, jeez. Wait, where'd the sister go? Wait, where'd the sister go? Fucking, he took mom away last ch time we saw. Where'd the sister? A lot went going between three stories, yeah. Back to this fucking basement. Oh, she's homeless now. You want to stop staring at me while I sleep? Get up. What time is it? It's almost 3 a.m. What's going on? It's time for us to leave. What? Where? My old flat. I told you. I'm never going back there. I don't have time for your questions. Get up. We're going. Goddamn hair. He sounds pissed. Yeah, he does. Oh. Fuck. That's where we're going. <laughs> No, nah, I think I'll I'll go stay homeless for a while. Red file wipes out all family. <laughs> Do not want. It's gonna be like a wonderful life type deal. Well, that's not heaven at all, is it? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Does it anyway? Do my. were such a child. I wonder how many people would be better off if you weren't here. Why didn't you want to see me in the hospital? Donna, I lied. I was with Becky that night. We did it in the bathroom. Who are they? They seem to know me. Not like I know. Now close your eyes.
Okay. Now, that's it. Fuck you, game. The next station is Platt Square. Previously on Last Stop. This is your final chance. I didn't send the damn note. Stay away from my dad. He doesn't need you. What the hell's happened here? Had a break in. Have you been speaking right? to Spider? Very anti Come for a term of driving license? That blackmail note was obviously you as well, wasn't it? If you're being blackmailed, I ain't the one doing the blackmailing. Put the gun down. Drop it now. Amy? Crap, this really hurts. Wait a minute. You're the one who sent She me. still has not been intertwined with any of these except for... Felix, so any of this. And come to think of it, neither is the first one. Revelations, really? Really? We're gonna go that way? Did that say 2028? What? Because I don't think so. It did say present day when the um when we skipped to these three. Dad's leaving and took the kid, right? Totally didn't just watch two people murder each other. Well, I actually watched one person bleed out. Oh shit, this is Amy's place. I was like, why did that say Amy? And then I'll, oh, right. Really? Come on, Amy. What's creepier? What have you got on me? Hold up. I, the, 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 why is it not reversed? Thank you. Um, what's creepier? Turning on a light and a woman walking around? Or flashlights in an apartment? <laughs> Double bed. Uh oh. Wait a minute, this place is huge. Open something. Makeup. Passport. What's it? I don't know why I have to go through her clothing, but I mean we're desperate, so. <laughs> yep. Kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. Just, I know she's dead and all, but. Still creepy. Who is this? Yeah. Okay. That was useless. Now, oh, God. Seriously, this place is huge, though. What? I mean, she wouldn't keep evidence on her in the bathroom, I wouldn't think, but what the fuck do I know? Her. She tapped my phone. Shit. These go way back. Holy shit. Yeah, this is 2019. Not worried about fingerprints or anything after Amy's recent death, right? Also, I'm just going to leave everything open because, you know, that doesn't look suspicious. 
I haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh, that's gonna suck. A washing machine next to your fucking oven. <laughs> right, uh, crock pot or rice cooker? Rice cooker. It's a dryer, and it's every English house is set up like that. Why? That's just dryer weird. I have no idea. It's the weirdest shit ever. <laughs> Yep, just gotta open all the things, people. Make it really obvious that someone was here, searching. Is that her phone? No. Okay, well, she smokes. Okay, you're not gonna take the camera? Ah! I can't open the fridge? Is that even a fridge? I don't know. Can't open that. She's got a backyard? Jesus, she's rich. <laughs> so now what? I think I opened everything. Probably missed something. File on the table. There was? Oh, I'm an idiot. I guess I was looking away. Smoking kills. She's got <laughs> she's got tobacco. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, what's it say? How the hell did she get this? Oh my. And a key, of course. To what? Oh, the locked door. Did you? And I'm gonna turn up your thermostat! Ah! That'll show her. Oh yeah, wait, she's still dead. And take the phone off the hook! Your bill will be so much! What the? Okay. I mean, we kind of expected this. Yeah. But I mean, I think she would have been smarter not to lay it out for you like that. Oh no, if only I had the password. Why was Jack on that board? Wait, Jack was? Yeah. Down the bottom, didn't you? Isn't that Jack? Yeah. Acting suspicious. Uh, mole? What? Have we seen her meet Jack? No. It's your dad. We haven't. I think but I can't remember. I don't think so. At all, actually. Also, who writes down their password? I, I can't read it. There we go. <sighs> starting to have serious reservations about this assignment when you asked me to investigate Hughes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was appreciative of the trust you placed in me. However, the deeper I dig, the harder it is for me to understand your interest in her. I, the Hughes I read about uh, San, at Sandhurst appears to be an I... 
idolized fabrication. In reality, she's ruthless, self-absorbed, ill-disciplined, and engages in numerous questionable activities, many of which she poses security risks. She clearly does not have any Q3Ds. Best interest is not okay. Q3Ds is your uh, company or whatever. Sir, I can just suggest we pause my surveillance here. Surely nothing further to be learned. In the case against her seems open and shut. If I investigate, if this investigation has been a test for my loyalty to you and the organization, I hope to demonstrate. I've demonstrated both. Obviously, I want to do whatever is good for the company. I just feel my skills could be put to better use in other areas. Fuck. That son of a bitch. I wouldn't have anything on you. True that. <laughs> You've been playing me, you son of a bitch. All right, Hughes. Take a breather. Not until you explain what the hell you've been up to. Okay, you got me. Now settle down. Amy's dead. So is a kid. You're not here because you're upset about that, and we both know it. There's green light on that monitor. Yep. <laughs> That's not good. Are you kidding nope. me? Was this all a big joke? Why have you been messing with me? Because you got sloppy. You let Amy get to you. Your house is in order and you failed your psych exam. <laughs> you know how many advisors told me to cut you loose? She's a has-been, washed up. But they don't know what you're capable of, do they? Operation Bloodhound? You just need the right conditions. And so here we are. The right conditions? Threatening my family, you mean? Stop kidding yourself. It's the job or the family. You can't have it both ways. That's why you stepped back, wasn't it? <laughs> Find someone else. Pete. The portal's open. What? It's true. It kicked into gear about 25 minutes ago. We're not sure how long it will be stable, but we're good to go. We just need a candidate. Come on, Hughes. This is it. The big one. Don't you want to know what's on the other side? Fuck. Yeah, sure, why not? Ow. Uh, I'm gonna be late again. I've been waiting up. <laughs> Where the hell are you? Forever late. <laughs> Dan, listen. I don't have much time. I need to talk to you about something. Stargate. What do you mean? Are you, are you okay? Wait. You're gonna hate me for this, but I need to leave for a bit. What are you talking about? It's work. D uh, just come home and we'll discuss it, okay? Nope. I can't. It's time sensitive. I only just found out about it, but I gotta go now. Are you serious? You're working in the field again, aren't you? Is that what you've been doing all these evenings? Like, getting prepared? No. Hiding it from me. No, I much worse, actually, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. How can you do this to us? How can you be so selfish? Selfish? I did everything you asked of me. I gave up everything. My life. My reputation. You think I like what I've become? I can't stand it anymore. Oh, right so that's my fault. What about me? What about Dylan? When is he coming to this? He doesn't. Look, don't make me qualify what I'm doing, okay? We can talk about this when I get back. If. And when will that be? Right? You, you can't tell me, right? Could be any time. Could be never. I've had enough, Mina. I'm sick of it. I've bent over backwards trying to keep this family together with all your late nights and your weekends, but what can I do with this? I mean, do you think I'm a mug? Yes. Stop being so dramatic. I'm serious. Am I a mug? Yes. Maybe I am. If you go tonight, I don't want you coming back here. See you. You don't mean that. Look, I have to go. They're relying on me. Well, I hope it's all worth it. Because you have destroyed this family. I might have just, you know, stumbled upon one of the greatest discoveries in all mankind, but, you know, 
family and stuff. Got enough zippers? <laughs> I'm a dick. No, can add some more. Yeah, I saw that vial. I'm gonna go this way, even though it clearly wants me not to. Yep. Fuck you, Gabe. Those are all medical tables. That's that's always a good sign. When you need an immediate medical facility next to where you're going. <laughs> Wait a fucking second. Remember the crazy podcaster saying yeah. how there was portals and stuff underneath London mm -hmm. and it's not a conspiracy theory. Motherfucker <laughs> game! I love it! I fucking love it! <sighs> Light bulb. Um. Crazy nut was true. Right, whatever, correct. Gotta be sanitary to, you know, go through portals and junk. I'm sure that's real good to inhale. I need you. Take the germs. I read the brief. Mm -hmm. An extraction mission. How do you even know she's alive? Oh, her from the beginning. Because she has to. Holy shit, that's him! It says in the brief she went missing 38 years ago. Wow. You would have been, what, 16? Was there a romantic link there? It's not important. I need to know where she's been for these years. I'll bring her back, sir. I'll get the job done. That's all I want to hear. And if I don't return? I'll honor our arrangement. Your family will be looked after. If it comes to that, just do one thing for me. Just, um, tell Dan I'm... Just make sure they're compensated, okay? Don't forget, we're making history here, Mina. If this transition works, who knows what we'll have access to. Resources, technology, culture. The extraction mission is just the first phase. This is the next frontier, right here. Now show them what you're made of. Because if he goes in and it fails, everything falls apart because he's the guy in charge. That's why I'm Oh, Seems like... Looks like you had a little uh, too much seating in that vessel there, buddy. Mm -hmm. No, not really, Boston. Depth reading, sub 300 feet, counting down. Wait, they just said feet. No, no. Not in an English game. Right? That's true, Vile. So this is where that part of the trailer comes into play. I was wondering. Monitor's set to record. Readings are nominal. Environment at the horizon reads steady. 
gravitation, electromagnetics, and radiation all within predicted norms. Well, this is gonna suck or be awesome. Walk! It won't let me walk. External readings at 64 degrees centigrade. I can feel an updraft from the anomaly. Calling system operational. Fuck it, let's go! Got my own mech suit! Look at me, I'm invincible! Maybe, I don't know. Soma? <laughs> nah. The beginnings of a horror movie, hell yeah. That one's slightly bigger than the one in the apartment. And it's over. I'm gonna take another bathroom break because it looks like we're almost near the end. Be right back. All right, definitely getting interesting, people. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. The next station is Sultan Sabah. Please proceed to Lane. Previously on Last Stop. I know about your predicament. Come see me. Oh, okay, yeah. Frank has been searching everywhere for you. The guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago? He did this. I'm going to need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down and I'll give you a buzz. Jack's leaving us. Now that you're sorted with your job and everything, I figured this would be a good time for me to move on. Molly is going to end up in foster care if you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dad! Right, he's dead. Or dying. Right. I'm supposed to care. <laughs> Hello, you came in with Mr. Smith, is that right? Your family? Yeah. Where's Jack? I want to see him. Yeah, we're family. Molly here is his daughter. Okay. I'm afraid the situation's quite serious. We've taken him into ICU. If you'd like to wait in the waiting room, we'll let you know if there are any updates. We want to see him. He's going to be okay, though, right? If there are any other family members that you need to contact, now would be the time to inform them. But he's going to be okay. 
I'm afraid it's too early to tell. He did. He may not make it through the night. Oh, he did. No! Thank you. I'll, um, I'll let him know. You got a bad feeling. They just straight up said it's gonna be a bad thing, dude. Jack's going to die. Uh-huh. But I'm here. And I got a new body. We don't know that. It's not fair. He's only sick because he's in your body. I shouldn't have made you eat all those chicken dippers. Mm. This is not your fault, Molly. If it's anyone's, it's mine. I don't want Jack to die. I like him. And if he does, they'll take me away, won't they? Yeah, 1000%. <laughs> I like him too. You're not going anywhere. I don't know, Bio. Fuck. Got a bit of a Molly, emergency. I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna go and save Jack. Ho. Oh. What? I just need to pop downstairs for a minute. Leave her there. Yeah. Can you look after my daughter while I'm gone, please? Sure. I'll keep an eye on her. If he switches bodies, hey, it's Chaz. Leave a message. He's still gonna die. Chaz, so. it's Jack. Listen, John's in hospital. <laughs> I need you to come over when you get this, please. The nurse will explain everything. Thanks, Chaz. You've been a good friend. Oh shit! <laughs> Make sure you I'm contact not every let you little one. Jesus, Mile. <laughs> I can do this. Hmm. But yeah, if they switch back, he's still gonna die, and the kid's still gonna be taken away, and Jack will be able to live out the rest of his life. Yeah. Like, unless he's magic and can save You're him. cutting it fine. Thought you were a no-show. I haven't got much time. Are we going or what? Come on. This way. Vape Lord. I I'm sorry, but he's even got the freaking hipster haircut shop. of a freaking guy who owns a family vape shop. Yeah, we sold all sorts here. Before e-liquids took off, we were a laundrette. Gobble shoes. Sold dirty magazines, anything really. Technically, Frank owns the place, but he's never here. He said he was doing me a favor, you know, letting me run the place and all, but I think he just doesn't like the smell of the stuff. Mm. It's weird, that, isn't it? Well, some people don't like the smell of things. Me, I bloody love the stuff. Talk about the vape stuff, or what? <laughs> Does everyone have a secret underground base in this game? Just saying. What the heck is this place? So I feel like I haven't properly explained this. Are you okay traveling to the other side of the galaxy? <laughs> what? What the heck is this? That's why the portal it's the opened, portal. I guess. You want to see Frank? This is the only way. The portal to where? This is mad! Look, we don't have time. It won't wait for you. I thought you were up for this. Yeah, fuck okay. You. Okay, all right. What do I do? Now it's very important. Yeah. Here are your travel tokens. Probably, yeah, fuck that. One if... for getting in, one for getting out. Do not lose them, okay? Oh. You won't get back otherwise. Now when you arrive, you're going to want to try and find Frank's shop. You'll know who you are. 
This is dangerous, isn't it? Don't worry. You're young and healthy. You'll be fine. Um. Get going. So, he's only got two tokens, so that means by the end of this game, I'm gonna have to choose who's going back. Not good. Or that'll happen. Fucking A. They said one for getting in, one for getting out. And then they left one. Final chapter. Yeah, if you said one to getting in, one getting out, well, that would mean how she gets back out. No from way. She's fine. And they're purple. Because reasons. Jesus! Who the hell are you? My senior. I don't want to hell. You don't speak English. Great. Look. I need to find someone. Her name is Samantha. <laughs> Bastion. She looks a bit like me, I suppose. Well, more like me than she looks like you. I see more no. I I no There's no one out here. Uh. Okay, too much information. Where are you heading? Where do you live? I am my saying that Gold Harbor. That is to be. That's about that. If your friend's alive, that's where they'll be. <laughs> oh my. He can understand her, but she can't understand him. Mm, seems like, but I'm not sure. Lead the way. Look at this wreck. All my gears trashed. No water, no rations, unarmed. In the desert, on another planet. Following a purple-faced alien with bug eyes. Oh, well... If he's all the way out here, surely it can't be too far to the next settlement. Yup, about that. So they were aliens. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It wasn't an angel after all. You're falling kind of behind there, buddy. So is it like really hot? Is it really cold? What? Is gravity the same there? So many questions. So this is where the dinosaurs came from. Got it. Peaceful out here, isn't it? Sleeping under the stars like this. I seem to be under bar. Many things on each you while you sleep. Jesus! Takes me back to Afghanistan. Jesus, what's that? Like nine years ago. It's basically an entire lifetime. They see more of what I You take for a ship. If I start to be eaten, make sure you Feels put me out of my picture. <laughs> <sighs> How did he get out there? Okay, so they have 
trains, but they live in mud huts. Gilad Haplon Fonte. Is that your daughter? Lima. Kalima? Maneon Fonte. Friend, cousin. Sipta? Bila? Where are we going? Is she talking to us? Stop asking annoying questions. <laughs> Fan capto lipta sonila. Sima. That makes sense. Bell Afghanilan sim nipuna. San Sima fonti cani. Yeah, he can understand. Sep lasso. Kilan fan kunama kipta simi. Can it isn't your daughter? Cold Taking her to Con cold, I can read it. Are you looking sake. for a sail? Enough of this. What the hell? What'd you just do? Where's she gone? What? What are you talking about? I'm sitting right here. No, that shouldn't be. That's not the way it works. You shouldn't remember. I shouldn't remember? You've done this before? She must be adapting. Have you ever done that to me? Yeah! Or someone that I know. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet, like everyone. That's the last time we'll speak of this. Am I understood? Do you understand, Don? So he's a dick angel. Got it. Okay, this doesn't feel good. Deleted for asking too many questions. What the heck is this place? Yeah, you know, magic or something. What's up, guys? Can you show me where Jack is? Huh? What? Oh, those tokens. One moment. I've got one here somewhere. Ah. Here you go. Okay. Nope. Frank, you better be here. They have portals and trains, but they also live in mud huts and use rowboats. Confused. Seems like we're getting closer to some sort of civilization. That is you think? Yes. You call it a cold harbor. Oh, you are kidding me. You speak English. <laughs> Only little. <laughs> me listen. Me understand better. Why didn't you say something earlier? Very tired earlier. No, not so tired. Fine. I hate you. Well, tell me something about cold harbor. <laughs> Big place. Many people. Sure. So, what is this place anyway? I mean, why is there this portal underneath the ground that led me here? We don't know. We have not enough money to travel far. We only come hold harbor for how you say, uh, no limit, Texas, hold them. <laughs> how do you know what that is? Very popular and cold harbor. Win money, lose money. Very painful, very fun. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe Samantha's got something to do with that. I don't think so, Boston. Where can I sign up for a game? Very high building. Man in office, show you. Oh, this yeah. is something. What she said, it, it, it fell. He wasn't holding it. It's like some Star Wars shit.
that's convenient. Why would you ever have to bring up the drawbridge? Here, Cold Harbor. You're welcome. I go now. Hang on. Where am I going again? Look for tallest building. Easy to find. Even for human. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, listen. Thanks for bringing me here. They even spell human Good like uh, Sadik does Try every now and then. Try not to die. Try not to die. Hey, it's you. You're here. Um, hello. Oh, I'm Frank. That's him. You don't remember me. You're not Frank. Oh, sorry. I haven't got my human face on. <laughs> How about now? Fuck. You're him. You're the guy from the station. The grumpy old git who fell over. You're Frank! I should box your ears in, you terrible bastard! Okay, now settle down. I thought my brother gave you my apology. Yeah, well, it doesn't stop me being any less mad about it. By the way, thanks for meeting me at the entrance, making me walk around this place on my own. How'd you think I was gonna find you? Uh, sorry, uh, I've been a bit snowed under. There's been a lot of new customers interested in vaping around here. <laughs> Does it look like I care? I haven't got time to mess around. Have you got what I'm after? Come on, I've got to get back. Right, of course. You're going to need to use this bracelet. I knew it, the bracelet, yeah. Put it on your wrist and link hands with the person you want to switch bodies with. Pretty simple, really. Oh, but just FYI, you can only use it once. Just saying. Just this. It better work. It's what I used on you and old matey. Mm. All right. So, how do I get back then? You're going to see me off? What do you mean? Just go back the way you came and use your return ticket. Uh oh. Return ticket? You do have one, right? No. Crap. Come on. Just give me a new one. Oh dear. Uh, sorry, I don't have one. What? No, 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 bullshit. Come on, hand one over. I'm serious. Those things cost an arm and a leg. Does it look like I'm made of money? Look, your best bet is to speak to the Ed Council. Explain your situation. I don't know, charm them. Who knows? Maybe they'll take pity on you. <laughs> wow. Doc's about to end up in an alien prison. I don't know what you talk about. <laughs> I wonder what that guy looks like in real life. Well, well, we have seen what he looks like in real life. The angel looking thing, Bajigger. Let me ask you a question. If you must. Mm. That time I saw you go into your house and I was banging on the door. I knew you were with someone. It was that boy we saw underneath your house, wasn't it? I know him. What was his name? Donna. You're so confused. A silly little girl. You're lucky you have someone like me to look after you. To put up with your nonsense. But you fucked my life up. It's true, isn't it? Careful. No! I'm done listening to you. I remember them. You're a monster. Why? Because you're mine. And they got in the way. Now shut up <laughs> unless you want to end up like the rest of them. I don't think he can. Holy shit, humans. No. That's the first out. First thing I would have said. Excuse me, are you two here to sign up for the poker tournament? Me Help me! What's going on here? Are you with him? He's a murderer! My daughter has a very active imagination. Please. 
Beat up the angel, yo. Something strange in his eyes, no sign of fear, seems unpredictable, dangerous. Helpless, tired, kidnapped. Come on, you're coming with me. She's mine! You're kidding me, right? <laughs> yeah, it's all that coming. Well, that's not good. Where'd you find that? Oh. Found Fucking it. haze. I found it. <laughs> uh, right. Ooh. I'll just come back later. <laughs> mm. ah! This can't be good. Mm. Now they gotta deport you, right? <laughs> so let me get this straight. I mean, you I swap really... bodies with someone <laughs> younger, fitter, and healthier than you. You've shaved twenty years off your life, dodged a heart attack, and you want to switch back. I like her. Because I like her. <laughs> do you always do this? Pry into other people's business. Sometimes you just need to hear it from the other side. That's all I'm saying. Mm. What are you doing here again? My job, actually. Right, your job. Doing what exactly? Doesn't matter anymore, does it? I can't believe I killed him. No, yeah, whatever. Better him than me. Hello? Hello? Guard? Can we talk? I'm not supposed to be in here. There's, there's been a terrible misunderstanding. You're wasting your time. They probably can't even understand what you're saying. You can wallow in your own self-pity if you want, but I'm not giving up yet. I've got a daughter to get back to. We know. Kind of. That's the tenth time you've mentioned <laughs> her. You don't have a family. Uh, no. Nope. I'm not really into sentimental chat. Sorry. That's code for yes, but I walked out on him to come here. Oh, shut up, will you? You don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, I know all too well, believe me. Uh. Who cares? It's not like it matters now anyway. Of course you'd say that. You're the reason we're all in here. You're the murderer. Wow. <laughs> Harsh. Yeah, so sorry it was a bit. Mm. If you knew what he's put me through, what he's taken from me. How is he, like, able to do that is okay. my real question. Whatever. Put the blame on me if that's what you think is right. No, look. Probably some I'm sorry. Prince of this world I'm just stress that's yeah. all. <laughs> I know you've been through a lot. We should stick together. He's right. It's only a matter of time until we're questioned. It won't help to be at each other's throats. Let's just see what tomorrow brings. Of course, why wouldn't they have a giant, you know, arena looking thing majigger like that? Oh. Fight to the death! <laughs> That'd be great. When it gets to go home. Mm -hmm. doth the lani. Sun in the north. The sun the doth the rinta. Hey, my. Hon my people, it seems we have let our guard go. 
Mortal Kombat. Our borders have been breached. Yeah, that was her. Find safe passage into our kingdom outside of our watch. Simna Luta, Mon Fika Brino Kisa. For an inevitable second crime was committed. Gonga. The highest crime. Mira Murder. Gonga. Yeah, but that's not... What's he saying? Nothing good. Let like, this be a lesson to all that need This is why we, pre we protect what must This is what happens when we loosen the grip on our technology. This is what humans do. Oh, come on, game. An example must be made. The benefit of the accused, the sentence will be given in their native tongue. Oh, cool. For the high crimes of trespassing and murder in the first degree, I take the power that is vested in me by the city of Gold Harbor to sentence these intruders to death. Bummer. If you're gonna do it, get on with it, Donna. Silence! This chamber need not hear from you, Solomon. Wait! Don't you want to know how we got here? We will find out in time. Mm. So that's no. You'll never know if you kill us. I've got information. We don't need your information. We've got your entry vehicle. Butika Vasika! Bring up the artifact. It's only a matter of time before we learn who sent you. Huh. When I say, get down. They're not gonna get down. Mina Hughes, authenticate! All right, now! Get down! Nice. Did I just hear Wilhelm scream? There's an opening. Come on, let's go. Hell yeah! Kill and Kuna! I did? Okay. My ears are still ringing. Oh, shut this up. Who am I controlling? I'm Just controlling all of them? Jesus. They'll be coming for us in here. We need to find somewhere else to hide. And they're still running like pansies. That was yours. How do you know they bring that up out of the ground? I what? didn't. I didn't. I'm just winging it like you. Are you serious? I thought that was part of some grand plan. So we actually almost died back there. Yep. We got lucky. Look, we're not out the woods yet. They've sounded some sort of alarm. The whole city will be on alert. This cannot be happening. What are we gonna do? Just run. Or prance, whatever it is you call this. Definitely Indeed, it's not. Here. Shit. Come on! Keep going. Don't stop. Yep. Oh no. What are we gonna do? Are you damn right I'm gonna jump? This will be fun. Yep. Jump! Wait! Oh crap! No. Wow. That one chick just ragdolled hard. That's not good. Okay. Everyone she, all right? She's moving. Okay. God, I didn't do that in my old body. I think the table broke my fall. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure I landed directly on the concrete. Is he like? Oh. What the hell are you doing <gasps> in my pub? Hey. Samantha. Uh, it is. Who are you? 
Los Behind here. Go. Let's go. Talk about luck, eh? Zinni Danu. Black. Primly knock. It still, come doesn't, up now. still doesn't explain oh, the old guy Samantha. bringing her there in the first place. Why'd they go there and why were they late? Haven't heard that name in a long time. Or is she not, is she originally from here? I, I mean like. So let me get this straight. Peter Hale sent you. No, he thought there was That's someone right. else, remember? Little Pete. It's a blast from the past. Oh. And weird. I'm surprised he still remembers me. I'm. What's it been? Forty years? I don't know. I assumed you two had had a thing going on or something. <laughs> what? No, I mean Pete was okay, but no. He didn't think that, did he? He did pour his entire fortune into find you. Mm. Shut up. <laughs> Is he rich? Is he rich? Oh, Not anymore. I, get back. <laughs> I know she entered the portal by herself, but uh. Have you got anyone you can stay with? A relative or friend? Oh, yeah, everyone got freaking blipped I, I out of existence. Trying. I should be, shouldn't I? Well, they're not really out of existence, they were all down there, remember? <laughs> People deal with grief in different ways. Don't worry what anyone else thinks. Listen, I don't know what to say to you. I'm sorry you came all this way, but I don't want to go back. <clears throat> Fuck. I didn't want saving. My life's here. Maybe 20 years ago I would have been jumping for joy, but not now. Too much has changed. Do you want to live in a husband, desert? Kids, this place. You understand, right? No. Mm. I want to. I'm sorry that Pete is stuck in the past, but Jesus, it was 40 years ago. Let it go, mate. Life moves on. Some people don't want to let go. Well, I feel sorry for them. How can you feel happy with your lot if you're always looking back? It's not healthy. Right. Look at me, the philosopher. No, you are right, though. I think I've been guilty of that. I wanted this job more than anything. You're gonna forget that they're fugitives? That like, uh, you're just gonna chill here for a while, or what? <sighs> what a mess. People have been hurt. Killed, even. Oh, shit. Amy. Dan must hate me for what I've done to him. And for what he doesn't know about. Jesus. What's wrong with me? Okay. Armchair philosopher, maybe, but definitely not a therapist. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just having a mini meltdown from... here. Wait, uh, I don't care, Audie. <laughs> Take it from me. And also, Vile, no, yeah, she's been here for 40 years. Back. No, she hasn't seen them. Anyway, what shall I tell Hale? If I get back, that is. Not that I give much of a shit anymore. <laughs> tell Pete that. I don't know. Tell him it's very sweet of him to do all this. Actually, don't say that. Mm. It sounds too condescending. Yeah, you did. I could just tell him you're dead. That works. Mm. I'll tell you what. <laughs> if I survive this operation, I'll come round and make sure you're okay. All right? So you're definitely going to swap back into your old body? I mean, what choice do I have? Jack's only in hospital because of me. But then you're gonna die, so how are you gonna go back and check up on her? <laughs> what about his daughter? Wait, what? What about your daughter, though? Oh, okay. Yeah. Didn't you say child services would take her away? I don't know. Okay, it's getting on. I can't keep the bar shut for much longer without starting a riot. 
plus happy hour is starting soon. I think it was 82 this place by is going to get hectic. We get it. I don't You've done more than enough. Thank you. Okay. Well, listen. The only way you're going to get out of here is through the portal chamber. What's that? The entrance is this big, ostentatious opening that looks like a flower. I mean, you really can't miss it. I know it. That's the way I came in. But guys, it's no cakewalk, all right? It's heavily guarded, probably even more so after what you did earlier. I'm not sure how you expect to get past them unnoticed. We'll think of something. She's well, she's the tactical one. Let's let's use her. <laughs> Let's not work on our irrigation technology in this desert. Instead, let's build portals. Maybe. Damn, we're pretty exposed here. Someone needs to create a diversion. I can do this. But you gotta swap back and stuff, yo. John! Hey! Fellas! What's he playing at? Well, he can run, so... Come and have a go if you think you're hard <laughs> enough! <laughs> also, none of them have guns? Like, wow. Oh, shit. Interdimensional... John, not really dimensional. Lightspeed okay, travel, whatever. But... They're still using spears. Donna, go back. John. Mm. Are you crazy? Go. Yep. I got this. What the hell am I doing? Right? Completely different. But once again, he's a... Uh, he's, he's really healthy because, you know, the Jax ran every day. And he's got Jack's body. Totally was not paying attention. Was there more? Yeah, there was. Totally fucked that up, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Of course! I can do this. Slip I fall. I was too old for this shit! <laughs> John! Over here! Wait, the entire guard left for him? Also, the entire guard at the front gate consists of two people. Mina's in trouble. Come on. <laughs> uh, I don't think she's in trouble. Jesus. She did <laughs> Bloody hell, Mina. Come on. We're leaving. Uh, oh, she's awesome. Too easy, bastard. Exactly. So now what? He gets a switch back and kill himself. The kids, the entire family's gone, and the wife ruined her life on her own. No help needed. <laughs> Great game. Come on, let's go. Are we just going to walk here in silence then? No, we what were. do we talk about? <laughs> Seriously? This is a normal day for you, is it? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's done now. Donna's right. And it's probably a good idea none of us speak of this again. So, we just forget this ever happened? Yep. It's better that way. I don't ever want to think about that place again. John, listen. Why can't those other guys follow you? You shut up, alright? Take it from me. Fine. It's not as if anyone would believe us anyway. I don't know what you're complaining about. You got what you came for, didn't you? Have you decided what you're gonna do? Da. Ah, fuck you, Gabe. 
All right, I'll do the right thing. Sipping much, right? Oh, great, now what? Wait, how is she oh, back in God. her bed? No! Hello, darling. And all of her shit's back. What do you want? You killed me. You let me down. Get out of my house. I've come to give you one last chance to redeem yourself. Fuck off. For what you've done. You killed them all. Get out. No, they were right over but there. But I can bring them back, Donna. I just need something from you. No. A promise. A contract. Fuck no. Mm -hmm. When you eventually meet your end, five, ten, fifty years time from now, you'll join me here. You get to live the rest of your pathetic life with those who you call family and friends. But after that... Your mind. Nah. Forever. Nah. <laughs> nope. I said no, no. Fuck you. I won't do it. I don't care what you say. I'm not doing anything for you. You disappoint me, Donna. Green you hear lantern. me? Get out! I never want to see you again. So she's underage too, and by the way. Never will. So, I guess he's not going to get what explained. What a complete mess! You've really embarrassed me here. I vouched for you, remember? I gave you your shot, and this is what you do. Oh, I'm telling him said, the truth. She was oh, dead. Damn. How very convenient for you. I've had enough. We're done here. I'm putting you in a different department. It doesn't seem like I can trust you with anything important. <laughs> Don't bother. I quit. I only came so I could have the satisfaction of saying it to your face. <laughs> now that is funny. Surely you of all people should know I can't allow that. What are you going to do? Have me whacked? Just try it. Maybe you should look at these. I imagine they would make for good reading material for the people down at Scotland Yard. Mm. You set me up. It's just business, Hughes. Now do as you're told. Why don't I just strangle you now? Well, she didn't kill her. So it's like... Protect family? Fuck the family! No. Yeah, I gotta save the family. Man, fuck that kid. I would, I would, I, I real life, I would strangle the fuck out of that guy. <laughs> There's a good girl. So Molly's still gonna go into an orphanage, by the way. That that hasn't changed. Only if he dies. No, he's alive. See you later, Jack. Later, Molly. Pub Thursday, yeah? Yeah. Catch you later, mate. All right. Last one home's a rotten turnip. One happy ending. <laughs> when the hell did Mina give a damn? Ah, it's still a kid. How the fuck is she gonna, like, like I said, she's still a minor. So she's kind of fucked. And if her memory kept getting quote unquote erased about the fact that, you know, that person wasn't in their life, that person was in their life, what was her memory that she's a single 17 or younger kid with a 
an apartment and all that. That don't make any sense. Burn the place to the ground. Cough, cough. Kids all right. Did something good. I don't know why he keeps saying steps on Vile. She clearly has Middle Eastern uh, heritage. I mean, did you see your father? All because some asshole decided to steal a hat from a stupid cop back in 1982. <laughs> What's this? Seems like they divorced. Oh, yeah. Who that? Who that? Why are you wearing skinny jeans? That's, uh... Podcast guy. Oh. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fucking A, that was good. <laughs> Fucking A, that was good. That was really good. Yeah, I'm very happy I got the wow, it's 1 a.m. <laughs> Oops. No wonder I'm so hungry. <laughs> Fucking A, that was good. Alright. Yep. So, I guess I could let this play through, or. Because I can't seem to skip it. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, I can pause it. Dude, I am actually really happy I chose to stream this tonight because that game was fucking amazing. I highly recommend this game to anyone who likes awesome stories. <laughs> Too often recently, I've seen a lot of games like this just be complete garbage, but this one was really, absolutely brilliant. I only saw one bug. One. So that's even cooler. They really polished it for their uh, day release. Yeah. And the multiple ending thing also is fun. I'd like to go back and uh, look at a few things. But I'll do that off stream. Not me at least watch the whole thing, but good game. What do you mean? Yeah, of I mean, yeah, of course it's short, but... I was in and out, my get one day seemed cool. Yeah, I, like I said, I highly recommend it. This is, uh... I said brilliant, there's really no other word to describe it. Production babies? <laughs> That's funny. This was made with Unity! Even cooler. Another example about how Unity can be, uh, utilized properly. Add that to the list, because Unity is often not. I gotcha. Alright, guys. Let's go to my waiting room, and, uh, we're gonna read someone on Twitch. I just gotta pull up Twitch because I got more people over there than I do on uh, YouTube. Unless you got someone who's on both.
decided to log into uh, Twitch real quick. And I got no one on Twitch. Fuck! How about YouTube? Who's on YouTube then? Pudge is on, Day Day's on, that's all I got. Contagious, what's he playing? Nah. You guys got anyone you want to raid? Will you write a review on Steam? Probably not. I, I never have, probably never will either. <laughs> no, not my kind of thing to do. But yeah, you guys got anyone to uh, stream? Otherwise, or stream out. English raid? Because otherwise we're just gonna, you don't have anyone. Otherwise we're just gonna call it quits of the night. I mean, I got someone on Twitch, but eh, he doesn't play these kind of games, so. Hey, and uh, by the way, shout out to Ratsy for the 3,500 bit donation. I'm sure she's still here lurking somewhere. Well, I just saw a message earlier. It's a little emote. <laughs> no one. Quick cynic, so streaming. <laughs> now, nah, guys, we're gonna, we're just gonna call it here. Yeah. Uh, I do not know when I will be streaming next. Probably tomorrow. But yeah. Don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, honestly. I didn't think I was going to do this until I saw that the uh, game had been released. And I'm like, well, now I gotta. Maybe I'll we'll check out that other game, uh, Origins, that Sadik was uh, checking out. I don't know. Cross that bridge when we get there. So, yeah. Till next time, guys. Good night.